a here we go i think the stream is live no countdown we're just hitting it we're getting straight into it getting straight into it no countdown no nothing i just want to just want to play the game and by play the game i mean watch people play the game because this is the semi-finals to the minecraft lockout tournament let's go let me double check uh what was i checking i was checking something i can't remember what i cannot remember what we'll see um oh i need to double check one thing hello I am double checking one thing. It wasn't done on peaceful, right? Because it's critically important that it's not on peaceful. I do not know. Let's see. I'll just check difficulty. Easy. Okay. Oh, good. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're good. All right. I guess we're just waiting for them to join then and uh, start their streams up. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Shh. They can hear you. Oh, actually, no, they can't hear you yet. We're good. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, there would be. There was a there was a certain mob. Anyways. Um. Okay, two of them have spawned in, I think, or, or one has spawned in, who is here, let's go, alright, everyone's frozen, this is good, Josh and Silver are here, okay, good, we're starting this stream up, chat, uh, Silver was TP, to, uh, um, t t t rip to at P, there we go. All right, I'm just getting them all set up chat for the next match the semifinals um, Orange team that is the the team's command is a little inaccurate right now. We'll update it in a second. It's silver runs This is accurate silver runs rip FC versus Fyro and Curryway. Um, I'm gonna double check on their streams. Let's see if any of them are up yet Boom, okay. Looks like you're up. Looks like you are up Looks like you are not up yet Okay and now, today I think I, I do have their stream audios. So, hopefully that will work well here. Um, uh, the... Okay... All right. Are you still in the competition? No. I put up 50... I... I'm the one hosting the competition. I was never in it. I paid the best, like, what is it? 16 speedrunners to $50,000 to do this. Hey. Are you still hosting it? Yes, I am still hosting it. We are ready. Is Curryway not a rake? Awake? Well, he's certainly not a rake. Anyways, Curryway not live yet. Check out his stream from four days ago. Is this Fyro? God damn it, Fyro. I don't know what's causing that to happen. Okay. Refresh this. Refresh this. All right. Um, I don't know. I, I, could one of them open up a menu? Maybe. Let's see. I need to teleport one of them on top here. Uh, who is down below? We need to bring them a little bit higher. Fyro. Everyone starts on the mansion. Okay. TP Fyro to at P. There we go. Okay. They are starting on a mansion. Looks like Curry is now live. Uh, looks like everyone's loaded in. Um, 
could everyone open and close uh, open uh everyone um press some uh pause menu buttons just to make sure I have audio. Okay, I do not. Um, this is gonna break this a little. So just ignore this for a sec. All right, chat. Should be good. All right. I was just making sure everything was working properly. Uh, we do have to reset the world because uh, they are <laughs> server server guy accidentally opened the world on peaceful. <laughs> that was an issue last time where the worlds would despawn all of the zombie villagers would despawn everything because the world was started on peaceful. All right, what does that spawn? Yeah, we they're starting on a mansion, chat. So they're just going to do a quick reset, I think. Uh, they're just going to reset the world, apparently. Can't that be fixed from commands? You can't undo mob unspawns. <laughs> you just cannot do that. And all of the enemies that were in the mansion were just gone. And that would really ruin this board. But you know what, chat? Um... Any of the players, uh, just for the sake of, of being uh, good players, please mute the stream if you're listening to it right now. I'm going to talk about the board. Okay, so chat. Chat, chat, this board is going to be fun. They're starting up the server. Okay, this board is actually a really silly one because I tried to make sure that almost every single board is completable in the perfect mansion. The thing is, this is not the perfect mansion, so only some of these can be completed in the mansion. Definitely not all of them. Only some can be completed in the mansion chat. So it's gonna test their mansion, navigation, and knowledge, and testing. And we'll see, and I'll try to make sure not to talk about the next match, because I see Feinberg is here. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go, uh... P slash A to at P. All right. They're going to be inside of each other for the start here. Um, yeah, no, this is not good. Is it? Let me see. Oh, wait, it could be good. It could be fine. Let me check. Let me check. Let me check. I'm just looking around. Okay, it looks good. Map looks good. Everything is good. I think we're ready. Yep. <laughs> All right, everyone ready? We gotta get this thing started. All right, Silver's ready, Rep FC's ready. Let me just get this going. Curry's ready and Fyro needs to be ready. Fyro, Fyro? Is Fyro ready? Is there going to be a prediction? Sure! Which team will do it? Fyro is not ready. Fyro has no internet. No, Fyro is fine. It's just my stream doesn't like picking him up for whatever reason. 
Let's get some, uh, some nice music. What's some, like, intense music? What could we do? Alright. Hopefully the audio isn't too loud. Uh, tell me if it is. We're gonna do this one. That's not too loud. That'll work. That'll work just fine, I think. Alright. This is all good. Alright, what's a lockout? I'll explain what a lockout is in a second. Did Fyro say he was good? Fyro's ready? Okay, chat. Before we start, um, a lockout. You have to come- you get 25 random objectives. These are the random objectives. I'll be talking about them during the first minute. And the first team to 13 points wins. They have one hour. There's 2v2. It's Silver Runs and Rip FC versus Fire and Corey Way. Names are on the bottom of the screen. There's an inventory tracker in the bottom of the screen as well, so you can see inside that person's inventory. Um, this is the semifinals, the winner's side of the bracket. There will be two matches today. This is match number one. It's a best two out of three. Um... Uh, and we are going to get into it right now. Let me just get into here, slash start game. And here we go. Alright, they are starting in 60 seconds. Alright, chat, here we go. So, we have, uh, Silver Runs, Rip FC, Fyro, and Curryway. They're all in the exact same block. The first, so... A mansion can do a lot of things. You can do almost every single one of these goals within a mansion, but this mansion cannot complete every goal. So the th there is a uh, full set of diamond tools, three status effects at once, obtaining a piston, uh, 20 arthropods, um, getting jump boost, getting a mob spawner, an opponent dies obviously, die by anvil, obtain a cobweb, six unique flowers, 64 light blue wool, um, chain armor, redstone comparator, almost, and every type of seed can actually all- and still kill a silverfish, could actually all be completed in this- or in a perfect mansion. Now, this isn't a perfect mansion, so they won't be able to do all of those goals. They'll just be able to do some of them, but it's gonna be their job to figure out which ones are gonna be good, and which ones they cannot do. <clears throat> so, let's get this thing going, and they're off. They are running, and it looks like Curryway's audio is- Working, I think. Not sure if Curry. Oh, it looks like one of them is fighting already. Right here. Curryway is being chased by Silver. One of them already got a goal. Looks like one of them did die. Looks like Fyro was slain. Looks like, yeah, Curryway managed to get a sword. They're in the structure now. Looks like some of them aren't necessarily in the structure, though. Looks like Curry and Fyro both sitting outside getting tools while they are just exploring on the inside. Looks like Silver did kill a, uh, did manage to kill a summoner person. And he gets the three effects from the totem. Deliberately dies to get the three potion effects from the, but it looks like he's going to die here to the Vindicator of Vex. And he's going to be respawning probably on the top of the building. But look like here, look at this, Fyro going. He doesn't have a pickaxe. He can't get the anvil, but he did find one. There is a die to an anvil goal right here. Die to an anvil. Die by anvil. So it looks like he's he's looking for a way to get a pickaxe. The walls are made of wood, my man. He couldn't mine it, but the walls are made of wood. I'm pretty sure all you need. A little bit nervous. Looks like they're all running through the mansion. They're trying to figure out what the heck do we do in here? Okay, runs in, runs out, oh no, okay. <laughs> All right, now the flowers, looks like there are two flower, or one flower in Curry's inventory. Two flowers in Fyro's, he's been collecting them. No flowers, no flowers. Looks like, yeah. <laughs> Silver, just trying to kill Fyro, getting the tools, but not doing well. Oh. Two other goals, it looks like... It looks like Curry did manage to get the anvil, but because Curry died, it looks like uh, it was passed over to Fyro for the levels. And there is another goal down, I think. Oh no, the levels are being passed back and forth. That's what that sound is. Well, you guys can't hear it. Um, the levels are being passed back and forth. Any reason why the heart tracker was skipped? Uh, it was not working today and at sign is not awake. 
Oh, one thing. It looks like there was a lava pool next to this mansion. And it is indeed burning down. The mansion is starting to burn down. It looks like Silver did find a diamond hoe. Silver walks right past all of the flowers. There is a six flower goal. He misses that. Every single one of these chests are empty. There is no reason to explore this room. Looks like Silver has not done his studying up on mansions. In fact, I think there was chain armor in that room as well that he just walked past. Silver, not the most experienced when it comes to this. That's probably a dead end. I think that's the outside of the mansion if I had to guess. Oh, guess we're not going to know. And it looks like Fyro is leaving the mansion. Curryway also leaving the mansion. Now, chat, I will say which ones I know for certain are possible to be done in this mansion. I do know that a full set of diamond tools is definitely possible. I knew that I know that obtain six flowers is definitely possible. I know that obtain a piston is definitely possible. And I also know that killing a silverfish and chain armor and every type of seed is possible so if they walk away from this mansion early it is over and it looks like one of them has found the melon and pumpkin room which means that they will probably be getting the seed soon not sure which one um i believe that sound was for trading off the most levels but it looks like rip fc has been running around the exterior and did manage to find six of those flowers that were not in the mansion and look at this curry Manages to get every type of seed. There you go. He found the melon and pumpkin room and he got every seed. So it is now four to two, only four minutes in. Also, 20 arthropods. There's not 20 silverfish in it. Looks like curry is being chased by silver and curry does die as silver continues to explore. Now, I did say kill a silverfish is possible within this area. Will they find the silverfish room? It is a secret room in this area. It does also give you two ender pearls and TNT. So, if they're able to follow, oh! Silver finds it! The silverfish room! And he's looking for the silverfish block. There's a silverfish block and he gets it. Okay, now don't open up that chest. It's a trap chest. Two ender pearls, two TNT. That's gonna give him a big benefit. And he's able to find the silverfish room. And most of the reason to stay in this mansion is now... Uh, I mean, that's pretty much the mansion cleared. The only goal that I could see them doing realistically is a full set of diamond tools and a piece of chain armor. Because in this one... Uh oh Looks like one of them was slain by a Vex. Curryway was killed by Rip FC. We weren't even looking at his perspective. And it looks like... Oh. It looks like Fyro does happen to get a jump boost Suspicious Stew. Uh, I'm not sure if he made it or if he found it, but that is another goal down. Lots of stuff going on right now. We got... Um, let me just move this over a little bit. Good. Lots of stuff going on right now. We have them exploring this area trying to find the last room now the, there are two more rooms that are probably important there are two diamond blocks in this mansion oh but look at this curry does find one of the really important rooms with redstone in it for the piston does he get the redstone he does get the redstone for the piston and yes i feel bad for whoever owns this mansion as well <laughs> the inventory tracker is not working uh that is true Thank you for the heads up. Inventory tracker has been turned on. I appreciate that chat. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Why no microphone? Am I not talking? Okay, no, you can hear me. I don't know why you're talking about no microphone. My bad, it should be working now. This one is not working. Oh, kills him. Let me fix this real fast. This should be who's silvers? Why is silvers not showing up? There we go. Curry doesn't have anything in his inventory because he just died. Rip FC also doesn't. All right, we're good now. Okay, it looks like there's pretty much nothing else for them to do in this area, except for maybe... Oh! No chain armor in that chest. That chest usually has chain armor in it. Unfortunate bad luck. There is one more chest that they can check, though. So we'll see here. But it looks like they do have some iron tools. Fyro has some iron tools. He's going in, but... 
Looks like, uh, is he able to make the piston? I completely missed that. Able to make the piston before Curryway. They are on the same team, though. So that's good that their team thought about that. There is still another goal that is completable within this mansion, too, potentially. Chain armor, diamond tools. There are 18 diamonds in this mansion. But it looks like every single one of them are leaving the mansion. They're not even going to try to find it. The craziest part is they could see the diamond room when they started this match. It was on the left. There was an um, obsidian ball that has a diamond block in the middle. All you need to do, destroy one obsidian with that iron pick and you got a goal. But wait, wait. Fyro maybe remembers it. He might be going back. Does he see the room? Looks like, oh, there's he's going for the secret room. He has studied up on his mansions. He's going to the secret room with the chest. Is there any chain armor in the other chest? There should be one more. No chain armor. Terrible luck. Oh. But Fyro's been studying. Does get a diamond hoe, which is a start. Eats the potato, which is good because there is an E20 unique foods goal. Looks like he's leaving. Is he going to keep searching? Because there is a diamond. There are two diamond blocks in here. I don't know. Will he be finding it? He's looking out on the outside, looking for rooms. Does he see it? Looks like it might not be visible. Why, why did it? Maybe it generated slightly differently? No. Maybe I'm misremembering then. I know there is certainly a diamond block in this mansion. Looks like he's scanning from the outside, trying to see if there's any extra special rooms for more chain, for more diamond tools. You know, it's two goals, but Curryway is right there. Trading with Curryway. Curryway is probably going to be explored while they're going. Looks like they're still eating their foods. They're both at seven. It's dead even on that, and it is five to four on the board. This is a very close match so far, and it is very cool to see. I'm going to keep my perspective on Fyros. Uh, looks like the other two... Um, you know, orange team is just exploring right now, trying to gather resources, doing the best they can. While, uh, looks like Fyro may be done with the mansion at long last. We will see here. The trading goes back and forth, yeah. Making golden carrots, trying to eat as much as possible, getting to that 20, but... We'll see, also, uh, killing a pig, you know, getting that raw pork... Curry, looks like he's found a cave. Maybe, you know, potentially could be a cobweb. Could find a spawner in the underground. Who knows here? I'm not exactly sure. There's no Discord ping. I... Could one of the mods do a Discord ping? <laughs> Monochromia, thanks for the Prime. The mansion is very chaotic, hard to keep up with. I hope there's not another one of those seeds later. <clears throat> um... What's a 15 iron sword goal? Thank you for asking. It has killed 15 unique hostile mobs, and it looks like Orange has been absolutely killing it. Literally. <laughs> but a lot of these goals are pretty long. 35 advancements. Blue's got a lead on that. Unique hostile mobs. Orange got a lead on that. Looks like Orange has a slight lead on, on, on most things. Also killed some arthropods. Oh, and it looks like, um, you know, here, Fyro. Making sure to eat, getting advancements along the way. They are just trying to catch up on the uh, on the advancement side for uh, uh, for their, or they're getting ahead on the advancement side. And it looks like Blue is caught up on the foods. What about the killing mobs? Blue hasn't caught up on killing mobs, but it is nighttime, so it should happen. Let's go see what Orange is doing, because it looks like looks like Orange just running around exploring, trying to figure out what to do. There is the obtain 64 light blue wool. Now that is a goal that is potentially possible to complete in a mansion. Um, in this mansion specifically, I don't think it was possible, which is why they're probably still looking, you know, they're looking for maybe a spawner room, they're looking for light wool, maybe a cobweb, maybe more chain armor, that's probably the most likely thing that you could find, but they still need to find more, it looks like orange is ahead on the kill arthropods, blue's ahead on advancements, they're dead even on unique foods except blue, eats out of the food, and orange, gonna be getting 15 in a second here. But, looks like they are trying to get more advancements, but... Or, I'm not sure, exactly. Maybe Arbalistic or something? Why do you got a fish in your bucket? Looks like Curry is ready to enter the nether. But Curry isn't the only one ready to enter the nether, because check this out. 
Silver is about to enter as well. So it looks like we're going to have a nether enter at the exact same time. Looks like curry is blue. You can see on the bottom right there, all of the, the names and the colors that each person is. But we get Silver, who is in the nether, about 10 seconds ahead of, of, uh, of Curryway. Can he enrage a zombie piglin before it happens? And there's a, there is a bastion on Fyro's screen. Or Silver's screen. Uh, God, I always mix them up. So, are there any advancements immediately? If it's a bridge bastion, Lodestone is on the board. And it is! It is a bridge bastion. So they will be getting the Lodestone. Gonna be beelining it for that Lodestone as it looks like Curry is taking his time to prepare it before he gets into the nether here. But Silver, about to get an objective. As long as he get... Uh, is... Uh-oh. Maybe... Maybe not? Uh-oh! Oh, this is a bad situation for Silver. Low on health. Did, I don't think he set a spawn either. Did he? This is terrifying. And I mean, Curry. Curry's actually preparing some stone for the comparator before he goes into the nether. So he will be able to do it as he's entering the nether. He might be able to cut off um, uh, the, the orange team here with the comparator goal. And look at this. What was that goal? Wait, what was that goal? No, wait. Silver punched a zombie piglin. Well, Curry just crafted a redstone comparator. So it looks like... Looks like Silver did manage to get that. But Curry is in the nether now. And I mean, breed Strider is a goal. It looks like Curry is focused on breeding a Strider. While Silver is going up maybe not to that lodestone still. Does he not see the lodestone goal? Or maybe he's just, you know, too low on health to want to try it. Of course, as we saw last week, Curry, the breeding master, Silver, make sure to grab all those diamond tools. That is a goal. Full set of diamond tools. You have three tools. You need, what, five more diamonds. That is it. Looks like going over to the lodestone chest now. Does Silver recognize that it's there? Walks right past the lodestone chest. Doesn't even think about it. This is dangerous. This is very, very dangerous. It looks like Rip FC is back in the mansion as well, while Curry is going to breed some Strider. So if that happens, we know who's doing it. it. Looks like Rip FC running around trying to discover if there's anything that has been missed here with a diamond pickaxe. So is able to mine some obsidian if they happen to find an obsidian room here. Will they find one? Maybe, maybe Silver saw something and communicated that. We'll see. I do know for certain there are diamond rooms in this mansion here. Will he find it? Looks like Silver actually left the Bastion. No lodestone. A huge mistake. Looks like getting glowing first, though. Will Silver go back? We'll see here. But that is the glowing effect. And it looks like Curry, the Master Breeder, doing his work as per usual, as like we saw last week. Looks like there's one, there's two. There is a goal for Curryway, and it looks like Fyro in the overworld managed to eat 20 foods. It is tied, seven to seven. Looks like Rip FC leaving the, leaving the mansion, giving up on the potential gold there, because I or the potential diamond, which I assume is what they were going for. Now, the one thing that I'm curious about, ooh, look at this, wait. Boating a villager to make a zombie villager for unique hostile mobs, Fyro, going full strategy. Actually doing this kind of stuff here. And it looks like, oh, Silver, back in the Bastion. Will he get the Lodestone this time? <laughs> but it looks like Fyro is trying to get this zombie to kill the freaking villager so he can get the zombie villager for the unique, unique hostile mobs. They're only at five, but... You know, Curry's in the nether. That's like five unique hostile mobs that you can kill there. You can't spell courting without Curry. This is true. This is true. <laughs> oh, looks like... What goal was done here? What was that? I'm trying to figure out what that was. It's Silver! He noticed the lodestone goal! Probably freaking out right now, but also... 
Oh my god. Rip FC managed to rip a silk touch hoe from a ruined portal, getting a mushroom stem. A huge swing for orange. Are the players allowed to listen to your stream? No, absolutely not. <laughs> No, I, I made sure that I said that before stream. Alright, looks like blue is starting to kill some mobs. No, they're still at five. It looks like... How are they still at five? Did Fyro not get a zombie villager? Maybe not. Looks like Curry. Make sure you don't lava it to death completely. You want to get at least one axe hit in so you get kill credit. Ooh, that is not kill credit. Why can't Curry talk? So we get game audio. Which actually, wait, there isn't game audio for Curry, is there? No, there is. Okay. How is the game audio? Is it too loud at all? I think it was better last week when runners weren't muted on their streams. You couldn't hear anything if it was muted on their streams. You guys didn't hear any game audio last week. Now you guys actually got game audio. <laughs> what do you mean? You preferred hearing the players. You couldn't hear the players! Please let them talk. They weren't talking! Too bad for you. Literally, they, they were completely muted. <laughs> they were talking on the multi-stream. Oh, they were talking on the multi-stream. Anyways, let's take a look at 35 advancements. 35 advancements is very difficult to get unless you get like every advancement before the end or just go to the end. Anyways, looks like Silver is crouching, looking around as Curryway is approaching. We're going to get an interaction here between the two teams. And if Curry is able to kill um, Silver here, this could be a big swing for Blue. Blue is behind by two points. Comms is over game audio. Let's not complain about the match during the match. You know, we'll fix it in between if, if it's a, a big thing that people want done. I'll do a vote in between matches. <laughs> All right, chat. Okay. I prefer the old times where Smash was playing in his own tournament. I've literally never hosted a tournament before. Ooh, looks like Curryway takes the death here. The mansion has burned down, so this may reveal the diamond block room. Curry is able to see the diamond block room. Does he recognize it? This could actually be huge. I mean, you know, Silver did get all of his loot. But he doesn't have enough diamonds for full diamond tools. But Curry was able to see the diamond block room. Because the mansion has burned down. I mean, 11 diamonds isn't quite enough, but there could be a spare hoe. But it looks like... Rip FC. Managed to find a cobweb. Managed to find an abandoned mine shaft here, which is another goal for orange. This is going to be hard to dig back for blue. It's possible, but it's going to be tough. It looks like Fyro does have a diamond hoe. So if Fyro is able to go back to spawn with this diamond hoe, give it to Curryway, potentially could get the full diamond tools goal, and then they are quite a bit behind on it on um on hostile mobs but they have even on advancements if they find maybe a village or something they could make that work trade for this light blue wool you could bring it back without entering the nether really what nether goals are left mob spawner at 35 advancements getting a, a saddle from a fortress that's really all you can do in the nether so the other team if they're managed if they manage to cut them off from one goal uh, maybe kill 15 as well if they find a fortress but Oh, looks like, looks like Silver is going back, or has gone back. Oh, uh-oh. Rip FC does find the mob spawner in the mineshaft, and 
Blue team really needs to cut them off from either ride a parrot, ride a parrot, ride a pig with a carrot on a stick. Kill 50 need to cost some mobs. They need to start cutting them off. Blue needs to cut off um, orange. And it looks like orange is even ahead on the arthropods. Rip FC, an interesting decision, does not farm the cave spider spawner for cave spiders to get that 20 arthropod goal. Not sure if that was a mistake or not. Maybe they were just going for it just in case the other team managed to find one first, but... This has been a very interesting, and it is a best two out of three, so one loss is not the end of the world for blue team. They can still bring it back if they win the next two matches, if they happen to lose this one, but it is not over. There is 36 minutes left, and there is plenty of rooms for mistakes. If silver just takes one lava death, it's over for them. You know, they, they have a... Uh, a bunch of stuff, and it looks like Fyro, back of the mansion, probably going to get the diamond block. So it looks like they will be getting the diamond tools first, as long as Silver doesn't find too many diamonds in this fortress first. We'll see here in a second. But it look, wait, wait a minute, look at this! Fyro killing Silverfish for the arthropod goal! And it looks like, it looks like Silver did manage in the nether to kill a bunch of unique mobs. He is leaving the nether now. Well, well, look at this. They're at 19, they're at 20. They got it. So they did manage to bring that point back thanks to the Silverfish room, which they went back to. Huge. And they could get one more point here. It's literally the other team. And wait a minute. Wait a minute, let's look at Silver. Or, let's look at Silver here. Silver didn't get a saddle. Silver with no saddle. Not able to get the right to pick with a carrot and a stick. The only gold that they could realistically get at this point is Diamond Tools. But Fyro is on the way there. Fyro is on the way there. And sees the room. This has a diamond block in it. And he has a gold pickaxe. He is 60 seconds away then. Orange team has 60 seconds to get these diamond tools or else they are not getting it. Blue could bring this back. It is not over there. Yeah. Gonna go from below. Get the diamond block. There it is. We're just, streams are a little delayed here. So we'll probably hear the sound before it happens. Let's see. Blue gets the diamond tools. They went back to the mansion and got it. <clears> the <throat> score is 12 to 9. Now, the only way for Blue to win is to get every single objective on the board. Right? The only way for Blue to win is every objective on the board. But they 100% could do it. Silver and Rip FC are just stuck underground. And they literally cannot do any of these goals. And that is a good point, chat, right? It's first to 13 goals wins. There still is the half more levels than the opponent. If blue needs all the goals minus one, if they can steal this one. And it looks like silver is at 12 and Fyro is at 10. And look at this, Fyro re-enters the nether to potentially steal the level goal by mining quartz. This could be a massive swing. Bringing it to a, a, an 11 to 10. And there it is. Fyro gets the most levels and now... Orange team can't just win instantly, and he's probably going to keep mining. The helmet goal is wear one piece of chain armor, any piece of chain armor. Now, they didn't find it in the mansion, unfortunately. There's probably at least one chest that had it. But it looks like... Curryway, they're going to be looking for a village now to trade for chain. I think that's the only thing they're going to do. And look at that. On Curryway's screen, there's a village. So any second now, he's going to start mining. And Curry getting flowers for what? 
Bone meal, maybe? Bone meal for white dye, perhaps? Is that, could be, maybe that's what, could be what Curry's doing. Getting the blue flowers now. Gonna be trying to get the light blue wool before the other team. And I mean, Fyro, just mining away. I'm not sure... I, I genuinely have no idea why Fyro could be mining right now. I, are you strip mining for quartz? I don't know. Well, just keep an eye on that. <laughs> yeah, Blue managed to steal a point because of the have more levels than the opponent. That goal is not... is is. There, there are there are three goals like this. There's have more levels, have more hoppers, and have more kelp blocks. And one of those goals is on the board today. And it looks like Fyro did manage to get out and will probably be digging as much quartz as he can just to stay ahead of the other team's levels. Basically, uh, Fyro now has got to always be on his level grind to make sure the other team does not get that. While Curry is now able to trade the village to get the chain armor goal. And I mean, there's still 31 minutes in this match. You know, Curry is gonna, looks like he is going for the white, uh, the white, the bone meal to make white dye to make light blue wool. So he's gonna be getting as much as he can. He's, he's composting it. He's making 12 light blue. So, you know, leave some sheep around while you're doing the other trading. You'll be good to go. It looks like, I don't think anyone is necessarily tracking, except, wait a minute, look at this, silver runs. Look at that compass. Compass in the hotbar. Going straight towards it. Who is that compass pointing at? Is it Curryway? If it's Curryway, this could be dangerous. Wait, Fyro gets hidden in the depths. Another advancement. Blue only is 15 advancements away. They're checking. No, there's probably a couple of easy ones I haven't got. There's the lodestone. They left the lodestone in the chest. So uh, Fyro could get the, the, the load advancement by just placing the lodestone down. You have a compass thanks to the lockout mod. You could get that advancement. They left them a free advancement instead of taking it with them or burning it. Curry's still going for more light blue. Looks like he is composting. Yeah, let's see. 14 levels to 12 levels. If Silver was able to get two levels, they would be back at 12 to 9. They don't know that, though. And it looks like Fyro is still running through the nether. And it looks like... What's this? Silver approaching a village. Is this the village Curryway is at? Wait. Rip FC was at the village that Curry was at. They are double teaming him, and this is so bad. Because if they have if they have control of the village, they could get the chain armor goal. And it looks like they're going back. They might be going for chain armor. Did Curry deal with the villagers? I don't know. But it looks like Silver chasing after Curry. This could be dangerous because Silver shoots the boat down. Shoots the boat down. Shoots the boat down! <laughs> and is able to... Let, let's keep... Uh, <laughs> let's keep it on Curry's perspective. Four hearts. Shoots again. Curry is getting low. Curry, no food either. Curry dies. That is... Brutal. There is one way that Curry can cut them off, though. The only goal that they're really going to get there quickly is the chain armor goal. If Curry is able to find a singular chest in the mansion that has chain armor, he could still cut them off of the chain armor goal. But instead, it looks like, you know, Curry's getting some tools. While it looks like Fyro is... Going to be trading the Bastion. Maybe to try and get some other advancements. I'm not sure which ones they're missing. But the advancements, it could go either way. You know, nine advancements for orange is not going to be something they're going to do quick. But Curry getting his base tools back could be entering the nether at any point. They really need to cut them off of those, uh, 
of this goal, though, here. They absolutely need to cut him off of the light blue. Or of the chain. And now Orange is probably going to be working on light blue and chain at the same time. But just one of those goals isn't enough. They need two to win. Wasn't it 12 to 9? It was, but then Fyro started getting levels. Now they could try to kill Fyro, but I don't know if that's going to happen, chat. Because Fyro has Ender Pearls, he's he's free to move around in the Nether. Looks like Rip FC is now using Curry Ways. <laughs> Using Curryway's items. Oh, brutal. F Rip FC using Curryway's items to get that wool at 27 of 64. It's close. Now, what is Curry going to do? I mean, I think the only thing Curry can do is potentially... I mean, I... Try and kill Josh, maybe. Fyro does manage to get country load. So that's another advancement. 23 to 35. As Rip FC just clears, tries to get this wool. I I don't think Curryway can get back there before it happens. Although Rip FC is out of light blue dye, Curry's hard work was not yet finished. <laughs> but there is now a field of light blue sheep. If Curry is able to do something to even just slow them down, that could be huge. It looks like Silver is trying to get the resources for um, for the chain armor. And 24 diamonds is almost enough. I believe 27 is the number you're looking for to trade for chain armor. I think it's around 27. It's either 24 or 27. I'm not exactly sure, though. So almost has enough emeralds. If not enough emeralds, it might just be waiting for daytime. Well, Curry, hopefully we'll get back to them. Looks like Curry's compass is pointing straight. And there is only one place to go here. Rip FC. 62 light blue wool. It looks like. Yep, there it is. S uh, Rip FC. Able to get 64 light blue wool. And the only thing Curry can do that I can see is to murder every single one of those villagers in cold blood. That is the only way that blue team can now win this. Is if Curry either... Solo's a 2v1. Or Curry kills all of the villagers. Because really, what are they going to be doing in the nether now, right? Maybe if they can find a fortress, that'll be a couple more advancements. They might be ahead on advancements, but if, if Orange gets even a single point, it's over. A single point. Curry does get sleep dreams. Sweet dreams. Places a bed. Are the two people allowed to communicate? Yeah, they're talking to each other. They do have comms. Um, it looks like also, wait a minute, think about this. Fyro in the nether finds a fortress. If Fyro can get a saddle here, that could be ride a, 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 a ride pig with carrot on a stick. It's gonna give a bunch of advancements. And then it's just that chain armor. It's just that damn chain armor. And blue is now ahead on advancements. And Curry approaching the village fast. There's the light blue sheep. Curry's getting close. Rip FC. Does Rip FC know Curry is coming? Curry might be able to sneak up here. No, maybe. No. Rip FC, not, Curry is not able to sneak up. Rip FC has a shield. Basically making this combat impossible. Curry, yeah. It's if someone has a shield and you don't, it's over. And it looks like Silver is able to start the trades and it's pretty much over. Because optimal trades are very fast here. This could be it. We'll see. And that is the game. Orange wins game one in the best two out of three.
And let's get this me next match go going. Good for Orange. Now, I'm gonna do a poll in chat. A lot of, some people like watching the multi-twitch, some people like watching this main one. I'm gonna do a poll. Do I uh, let them use uh, their stream? But what do? Um, Uh, no audio here. Uh, so option one is no audio here, but they have comms. I, it's too long to type, but the first option is no audio here, but they would have comms, or game audio here, but no comms. And I'll give you guys a minute to vote in the poll. First option is... They will have comms on their streams. Or, I have no audio. Like, either, either... I have no audio, but if you watch their stream, they have comms. Or, we have game audio here. And, their streams don't have comms. Uh, I am unable to hear their comms unless I join their channels. Alright, it looks like the majority says let them use their commentary on their stream and then mute their streams which i can do all right we will not have their game audio then why can't they just unmute on stream because having one person talk over the other is not going to work the audio spoils the game I don't know what you mean. That... I think if the audio is... Yeah, game audio is not that important? Okay. Um... All right, I will message them and say that you can turn cons back on. Uh, I'm above him, but okay. Yeah, that's fine. I just feel like I'm eating. Just give me a moment. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We went hard. All right, Orange managed to win game one. Uh, I'm just gonna do this for setup really quick, and let's re. Hey, that's that's the wrong layout. My bad. Uh, okay. New board suck. <laughs> Another opponent dies. Goal. All right, here we go. Looks like they are all in, so we'll do this. Uh, okay, I refreshed all their streams. Uh, I do need to mute all of their audios, though. Um, how do I do that? Okay, I think I can do this. Mute this. Mute that. We will mute this. And I will mute that. And alright, I think we are ready to go on the next game. Uh, let me just go in here and we're good to go. Alright, so you can, if you do want to watch all of their perspectives, you are still able to hear that. Um, if you want to open the multi-twitch to hear their comms, feel free. <clears throat> uh, there's no game audio for this match, though. Alright, I can't remember the notes I have on this seed, so I'm just going to ask if they're ready. Okay. We'll see... All right, blue team is ready. Uh, it looks like this seed is just... Just an interesting one. All right. Looks like they're all ready. Okay, we're going to start this game, chat. Start game. Board is reset. Okay. The guy who quit his job did get eliminated, unfortunately. I was rooting for him. All right, so chat, this...
board is a pretty interesting one. Uh, let me just start seeing it. Here we go. Okay, this board is interesting. They're starting in a village, and there are a lot of village goals. Do not die is a goal, so they'll probably want to kill the other the their opponent to get that point. But there's also die to an iron golem, so if they're about to die, they can take the last hit from the iron golem to maybe trade off a point. There are a bunch, though. There is a, a brewing stand in this village, so using a brewing stand is a possible goal. You could also trade for redstone if you manage to get a repeater, so you can trade for that. Um, magenta sheep, there's sheep around the village, so it's going to be a lot of chaos here. Um, and I think those are all of the, the really quick goals that can happen around the village, actually. Chat, don't tell anybody, but obtain purple glazed terracotta. There are four clay blocks within this village, which is how much you need to make glazed terracotta. So they could be doing that as well. Um, there's a couple of other small ones that, you know, potentially could be started within the village, you know, getting the redstone uh, from the uh, villager trade. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of chaos in this village, I think. Also, trade with a villager is just straight up a goal, and it looks like they have started. Who is moving first? Who is going? It looks like Curry is running. Going to get tools in the center of the village. And it looks like blue team, they did get the clay and traded with the villager for one of the goals. That is the fastest way to do a trade is to pick up those clay blocks. So Fyro knows the fastest trades and does get it immediately. Incredible speed. Now, what other goals can they be going for here? The other fast goals is obviously opponent dies. So they're probably going to want to start killing each other. And it looks like it's probably going to happen soon because look at this silver. Ends Curryway's life. But then, it looks like Fyro dies to the Iron Golem right after to bring that back. He was ready. Where can you find the bracket? The bracket command. I need more water, bro. So it looks like they are going to be doing this very fast here. Hopefully, Fyro... Oh. Fyro hiding? <laughs> Hope not getting not getting found, ideally. And it looks like, what is Fyro doing? Using a composter for... Interesting, for bone meal. Uses the bone meal before he dies. Not... What is going on? Oh my, it's for the magenta sheep. They're trying to get... They have the blue flower. They have two red flowers around. Fyro just needs one bone meal to make white die. Grabs the composter. Because trying to get that magenta sheep goal, you need the magenta dye. There are no magenta flowers nearby. So gonna go in here. Grabs one piece of bread. <laughs> and he's gonna start getting some tools. And it looks like no one else has started to uh, catch on about the magenta sheep, it looks like. Looks like Silver is running from Curryway. Curryway chasing him down with an axe. The 100 stone sword is kill 100 mobs of any kind. Looks like orange has won. Except players, I guess. Players don't count, apparently. Ooh. Looks like uh, Fyro was slain again by Rip FC. Fyro just trying to get a single bone meal <laughs> as Curryway hunts down silver. Curry still chasing after Silver. Now, the thing is, Silver has... Oh, wait. Silver does have the brewing stand. As Rip FC manages to kill the magenta sheep. Please stop lagging. So it looks like the score is 2-2. Two to two, And Curry absolutely has to kill Silver here. Because use a brewing stand is just a free goal. And then you can also use that to trade for Redstone. So if Curry is able to kill Silver here... Oh, and it looks like they, they are going. Curry dies and Silver gets the win on that PvP fight. The goal for Red Nether Brick Stairs, that is obtain Red Nether Brick Stairs. Yeah, the, the one thing to consider though, chat, with this board here is that Orange Team has a free two goals because Curryway is on the team. And there is Breed Hog and Breed 8 Unique Animals. Anyways, looks like Fyro is getting two Terracotta. Two regular Terracotta. Two more regular Terracotta. And probably going get to get the rest of the clay to save some time on the Purple Glaze Terracotta goal. 
Incredible genius. One, two, three, four. I think you're one short, aren't you? I'm... No. No, that's actually the exact amount you need. Fyro has enough terracotta. Just gotta make it. Just gotta smelt it. But Fyro now running from Rip FC, who is going on a rampage and is killing Fyro over and over again. It looks like, no, the two of them are teaming up now, though. <laughs> Rip FC really does not want to have to deal with them. Rip FC just wants one kill. Just wants one. But finally goes down. Curry gets the kill at long last. And is now able to, uh, they're able to start teaming up. And it looks like Fyro going to start work on this purple uh, goal. The, the purple glazed terracotta goal. Who are the other four players? Uh, Feinberg, Talking Mime, and Dylan, and Fruitberries are the next match. It looks like because Silver does have the Brewing Stand, is able to get three sand, and the only goal for use a Brewing Stand, you can get the Brewing Advancement if you just put glass bottles in and out of a Brewing Stand. So that's probably what Silver's gonna go here for use a Brewing Stand, while Fyro is gonna go for this, and the score, it's 2-2. It's gonna be even after this. So we're five minutes in, only three to three. There are a lot of nether goals though. So we're gonna see. It'll be it'll be a big um a big advantage to whoever is able to enter the nether first. Now, there is a lava pool 50 blocks away from this village. None of them have seen it yet, but there is one. There is a lava pool. I can guarantee that within 50 blocks of the village. If you know, maybe one team is able to locate it or even find another enter, that would work. Progress on the breeding goal. Looks like orange is ahead, but that is not unexpected. As look at this. Looks like uh, Curryway just bred some chickens. The breeding master. And um, looks like Fyro. Still going for the purple glazed terracotta. Does have the blue and the red flower. Is able to start grinding for it. And it looks like... What goal was that? I completely missed it. Oh no, that was the... <laughs> That was the brewing stand goal that Silver was able to do. Just threw a bottle in and out of the brewing stand. That gets that goal nice and easy as Fyro is able to do uh, the purple glazed terracotta. The, the other team is not going to be doing that anytime soon. They don't have any clay. That even, they haven't even seen a river. It looks like just clearing out these zombies. You know, killing 100 mobs, that is a goal. Orange a little bit of a lead, but... Uh, generally, the team to enter the nether first gets the kill 100. But, oh, there we go. Looks like they have the purple terracotta. They just need to glaze one of them. They should be good to go. And look at this. Silver finds the lava pool that is right next to that village. And is able to enter the nether as Fyro gets that purple glazed terracotta. It is 3-3. Three to three, But now, orange team has a massive advantage with... A fort or with a bastion in sight. Is that another bridge bastion? I can't tell from a distance. I think it might have been. Are there any goals that can be immediately be done here? They're not really. There, there really isn't any goals that are immediately attainable unless you happen to see a ghast. Yeah, and it does look like this is a bridge bastion. So they're going to be doing that. Um, looks like did not bring any redstone into the nether. Does see a ghast. Doesn't have a bow and arrow, so will you be able to kill the gas before it despawns? I do not know. We'll see here. It'll be, uh, it'll be close. Silver, just waiting for the gas to shoot, refuses. It is, does, really does not want to do it. And some, one goal that could be done at any time. Diamond. Because Fyro is just exploring these dripstone caves, trying to find a single diamond. Will we see the diamond? Probably not. <laughs> I need to refresh your stream. Uh, stream, refresh. I refreshed the board by accident. Looks like Silver is going into the Bastion. Still, the Ghast refuses to shoot. Ghast is on peaceful mode. That's a joke. Um, able to get some arrows and some string. Probably gonna be able to make a bow here if you have wood. You do have wood, so looks like Silver will probably be shooting this gas with a bow, looking to craft it, making some sticks for that bow. Because there is kill a gas goal, and they will be in the lead, four to three, but I mean, it's by one, right? Does it really matter? Does one point 
change anything? Not really. No. Gonna try and punch the... Punches it back. Misses it. Punches it and gets it. There you go. All right. Return to sender done. Orange team now in the lead. But look at this. Fyro gives up on the diamonds and it says, I'm gonna send it. We're going to the nether. And it looks like Curryway though. Curryway finds a redstone in a cave and is smelting some smooth stone to be able to get this redstone repeater, which the other team really dropped the ball on. They did not go back to that village to, uh, did not go back to the village to trade for the redstone. They could have had that goal, but I mean, it's, it's, you know, it's easy to forget. There's a lot going on. Looks like, so it, once the, we could expect Curry to get the redstone repeater goal and it looks like Fyro, no flint, not able to enter the nether yet <laughs> because just doesn't have any way to light the portal. Looks like the music's over. Let's let's restart that. And there we go. Curry. I assume that was Curry getting the redstone repeater. Bang. There it is. Redstone repeater. I'm just using the, the sound there as my warning of someone's about to get a goal. <laughs> a diamond ore can be deep slate or regular diamond. Looks like Fyro. Just going to try and woodlight. Hopefully that works for him as fire or silver does find a hoglin is able to breed it. It looks like stealing Curry's thunder. That's the goal down. Bread the hoglin. It is now five to four. Still anyone's game. Now the one thing that blue team, or the one thing orange team does have an advantage on is um, silver has a final exam in 55 minutes from now. But wait a minute, look at this. Curry finding diamonds. Five to five. But silver does have a final exam 55 minutes from now. So he really has a lot of motivation to win this match. Probably the reason why he entered the nether so fast. <laughs> he really needs to win this or else he's gonna miss his final. <laughs> I don't know what the exam's on. But Fyro now into the nether. Not a lot of building blocks. Using every glazed terracotta, terracotta, colored terracotta he has. <laughs> is gonna try and enter the nether. What goals are immediately available? Let's look at his inventory. No glow ink. For the uh, use glow ink on a crimson sign does get crimson wood is able to get that immediately something that we did miss but the one interesting thing as well no one has any diamonds no one except curry way and there is a goal that requires diamonds there's actually a few goals that require diamonds use an enchanting table use a jukebox to play a music disc so if curry can find a music disc in the overworld. Skeleton to kill a creeper. That could work. You know? That could work. Maybe find some obsidian from a rune portal. Or fire will bring some obsidian back. This could be a couple of potential points for the blue team. But again, it looks like Silver manages to find a fortress. Which is mine mob spawner. Obtain red, red nether brick stairs. And could be ride a horse with a saddle as well. This could be absolutely huge for orange team. This is two points for orange, almost guaranteed. And blue team does have two two objectives in their inventory, so we'll see here how this plays out. But uh, it's looking better, immediately better for orange at the moment. Yeah, is able to mine that mob spawner. Gets one objective. It is now five to six. Now, are you going to be able to go get those red nether brick stairs right now? Let's hope. Wait. The red nether brick stairs are really only possible if there is an interior section of this fortress. Is there? It looks like there is, so they should be fine. And it looks like that is where Silver is going to the interior section of the fortress to potentially find that saddle and the red, uh, and the, uh, the, uh, the nether wart for the red nether brick stairs, doesn't have any nether brick, the item itself, so we'll need to smelt some. You do need 12 here. Looks like gonna start smelting the, the uh, nether rack. You need 12 nether wart. That is not quite enough. But wait a minute. While we were looking away, Fyro brings a hoglin to the overworld. I didn't even consider that someone might be doing that goal. 
and it is now tied up again. But it looks like Silver just waiting on those nether bricks to smelt. As as Fyro is is we completely missed that. My goodness. Something that is going on that we haven't been paying attention to. Orange getting more um, mob kills, but look look at blue. Or yeah, look at orange, sorry. Orange. Kill, kill, kill. Rip FC is doing some fishing with his axe. To get uh, to get the kills up. Because fish do count as mobs. Looks like did um, did Silver end up finding a saddle in this fortress at all? That would be really big for the orange team here. I don't think they have it though. They don't have the saddle yet. But looks like uh, Thyro still having issues. It's actually, chat, it's literally only an issue with my stream and I do not know why it doesn't work on my perspective. <laughs> but any second now, this uh, Silver, I'm going to refresh because we're a little bit behind. Um, Silver is going to have those red nether brick stairs any second now. And, uh, and Orange will be in the lead temporarily. While uh, Fyro, or Curryway, strip mines. Why? I don't know. Maybe looking for Lapis Lazuli for enchanting? I see the Lapis. Maybe more diamonds? Could use a couple more diamonds. I mean, uh, if if Curry is able to find a creeper and a skeleton, you can get that music disc and just bang that goal out immediately. Do you have the wood though, Curry? You do. Of course you do. Okay, there's a skeleton. Does Curry see a creeper anywhere? Curry's looking for a creeper. But yeah, the saddle goal is not just obtain a saddle, but saddle with a horse. Horse with a saddle. So you have to find both a horse and a saddle. And it looks like finally, the last nether brick is done smelting after 10 minutes and is able to get that red, red nether brick stairs. Then orange is able to take a slight lead. Upgrade your ISP. Nice. Now, Curry does find a glow squid. So the moment Curry enters the nether, that is another goal. Glow squid or glow ink on a crimson sign is an objective and no one has that. But look, looks like Fyro just found a bastion. Could find a music disc. If Curry and Fyro meet up, they could do a lot of good. Because Fyro is going to have the Obsidian. Could have Pig Step in from the Bastion. This could be big for Blue Team. Blue Team being... Yeah. So we'll see here. Looks like Silver running back and forth to the Fortress. I'm not exactly sure what... Silver is doing what their game plan is. There are or there is a silverfish goal, which and there is a brew potion of lingering goal, which are two goals that basically require at least the stronghold to the end. Maybe going back, the ender chest goal is something that could happen if uh, if he is able to find uh, just an ender pearl and some obsidian. Not able to do it yet, but it looks like he is moving away from the fortress now. Maybe is that tracking Fyro? I think, oh my goodness, Silver finds a different bridge bastion to Fyro and will probably be able to cut him off of the ender chest goal. And it looks like Orange, they have been grinding out those mobs, murdering fish for a couple of minutes, able to get that goal. And Orange is now in the lead by two points. This is looking really, really good for Orange at the moment. Now, the fact that they have found both structures means Ender Chest is on the way. Uh, powered Rail, you can do it any time if you just have, like, a redstone. So, if you're able to portal out, that would be good. If you're finding Pig Step, you know, you need one diamond, you can portal out. Enchanting Table, you have Obsidian now. And it looks like, wait for it, Pig Step, right there. Doesn't grab Pig Step, though. Silver, f missing, forgetting about the Red Nether Brick Stair Goal. Name a more iconic duo. Silver and forgetting Bastion objectives. Lodestone last game. Music disc this game. Looks like Fyro doing some old style trading with the gold. Looks like Curryway 
has a deep dark. Is there anything you can get from a deep dark here? Actually, so a really good way to find diamonds, and this is going to sound crazy, is to actually mine the, uh, the skulk on the deep dark floor. Because you can clear so many blocks and... Uh, diamond veins are going to be bigger if they're not exposed. That is a rule with generation where if a diamond vein is exposed, it is going to be smaller. But it looks like Curryway is getting the gold for the powered rail because he does have the redstone. We'll see here. Did Silver think of grabbing pig step? No. Silver, still no pig step. And here's Curry making the powered rail. Curry, does he know how to do it? He does. Power rail, eight to seven. This is anyone's game. This is absolutely anyone's game still. Now, what else can Curry do in the underworld? Could enter the nether, immediately get glow ink on a crimson sign. Curry is the only person with glow ink. Out of everyone. Yeah, the only person with glow ink. So, it's gonna be a little bit, uh, a little bit of an advantage there at the very least, but I don't think Curry plans on entering the nether just yet because there still is. There are two overworld goals that you could complete. Use an enchanting table. Use a jukebox to play a music disc. If Curry just gets another diamond. And actually, speaking of, wait. Curry did get another diamond. While we were looking away, Curry has a diamond pickaxe and two diamonds. If Curry is just able to find some obsidian and a little bit of lapis, the enchanting table goal is something that will happen. And looks like Curry is going for the music disc here. Positions expertly. Kill gets the kill, gets the kill, and is able to get the music disc goal. Boom, it's over. He already had the jukebox. Wait a minute, he still has two diamonds. He can still do the enchanting table goal. He tied it up, but he still has the extra diamonds for the enchanting table. And I mean, what? If, if, if Curry is just able to mine four obby and then go to the surface, it's... I mean, you still need the lapis too, Curry, but Curry is carrying. And it looks like Silver still just hanging out in this bastion, waiting for enough obsidian to craft this ender chest that would bring them back in the lead. If Silver can get a single obsidian, and there it is, the last obsidian, the ender chest is done. Gets the obsidian back by placing the chest and destroying it. Eight obsidian. It's enough for an enchanting table. It's not enough to portal out, though. That's dangerous. It's a little dangerous. What is Fyro doing? It looks like Fyro is just exploring. There's almost no reason to watch Fyro's stream. Uh, there is almost no reason. Sorry, I didn't mean that, Fyro. You have a great stream. It's just your internet is, is bad for me. Um, there's almost <laughs> no reason to be in the nether anymore. You know, what goals can be completed in the nether? Other than glowing on a crimson sign and maybe, you know, finding a fortress to get that saddle. Maybe getting some obsidian for the enchanting table. There's just like, you know, you could do these two goals, but is this match going to last that long? That's, that's what they have to consider. Will the match last long enough to be able to go to a stronghold? I don't know. And I mean, you can go to the stronghold already, Silver has an Eye of Ender that should be enough to find the, the Stronghold if they're good and if they're not unlucky. You know, they already have the Crimson Wood. They can just leave the Nether and if they can find that Glow Ink, it could be over. The Glow Ink that, again, Curry Way is the only player to have. So if Curry's able to enter the Nether, that's a goal for them. But it looks like Curry probably going to be focusing on the easier objective here. Use an Enchanting Table. And wait a minute. Rip FC trying to die to a TNT Minecart, which is a goal we have completely forgotten about. Doesn't know how to do it. But there it is. That is another goal. Dies the TNT minecart. Bit of a cool goal just because of the sheer number of resources you need to, to put it together. Lots of iron. You know, some gunpowder. Um, a, a unique assortment of items to, to get that objective. But it's 10 to 8. And this is not looking good for blue. Because now, uh, you know, blue needs 5 points to win. Orange needs 3. And uh, although Orange doesn't have a lot ready in their inventory, the one thing that Orange does have is br uh, is they've bred six things. And I mean, uh, Iron Armor Set is actually done by Blue. Curry, while we weren't looking, has been mining iron. 10 to 9. They are keeping up with this. 
crazy match. But I mean, this goal is, it's, it's in the hands of the orange team. The blue team really isn't going to be doing that anytime soon. So, the orange team, we're, we're going to assume that they're going to get that. What else can the orange team do? You know, they can get, they can kill a silverfish. If they get, if they get to the stronghold, they do not have enough to enter the end to brew that potion of lingering. They did not save any blaze powder. Or any, um, any splash, oh, they do have a splash, potion. never mind. Anyways, um, I don't know. They, they could get to the stronghold. Maybe. That's why Silver's come back here. Maybe to get more Blaze Rods to get that potion of Lingering Goal and to guarantee that they can find their way to the stronghold. Does have 15 Obsidian now, so did do more trades. Does have enough to both leave the Nether and still have enough for the Enchanting Table. But looks like Curryway heading to the surface now without Obsidian. That's important, without obsidian. So, Curry will need to find a source of obsidian on the surface. Maybe he already knows of one. Not exactly sure. Um, if Curry is able to find a source for the obsidian, enter the nether, use Glow and get a Crimson Sign, Enchanting Table, two goals that Curry could do. Does Curry see lava or a ruined portal? Either one would work. All right. What could be done here now? What are the remaining goals? It looks like Rip FC. Now it now I'm not exactly sure what Rip FC is going for. There is one thing that Rip FC could do that I've never seen done in a lockout. Trading for a saddle. I think is something you can do with a leather worker, so could be something that Rip FC is doing. Maybe just looking for animals to breed. That is also an option. Looks like he did grab two hay bales. I think that could be it. Maybe they just missed some of the basic ones. But Curry running over the overworld. Not quite sure where he is going just yet. Could be a master leather worker would be what it takes. So that would be a really long thing. But they still have 34 minutes left. But look at this. On Curry's stream, I think it does. I think there is a rune portal there. Now, the one thing that Curry is missing is Lapis Lazuli. Did not get Lapis while he was down there. He definitely saw it, but I'm almost certain. I just saw a rune portal on Curry's screen. It was on the right. Maybe it was a tree that someone didn't fully chop down, but I'm almost certain it is a rune portal. A source of obsidian. If Curry is able to mine out this portal here, get the four obsidian for the enchanting table. Oh, Curry! The enchanting table goal! And then you could enter the nether. Glow, we got a crimson sign. You could take the lead if you just stuck around there. That could be a huge mistake for Curryway. Curryway is still no lapis, but that is probably the easiest way to get it. Curry picking up yellow flowers to breed rabbits. Oh no. Or, or to breed bees. Curry. Breeding bees. That's one. Will Curry. The breeding master. Catch up to orange. I do not know. But you can't help but root for him. The other team is already at six, and Curry doesn't have any bread, doesn't have any wheat. Going back to the village, though. Uh-oh. There's probably hay bales left. What is Curry doing now? Curry maybe giving up on breed for now and deciding, wait a minute. I have a diamond pickaxe. I could mine for obsidian. I mean, that's the only reason why Curry would be going underground. It's not like he's going to be breeding any zombies anytime soon. So, looks like Curry going down maybe to mine that obsidian. No bucket for Curryway. Not even able to make Obsidian, actually. Uh, he does have the three iron, though, if he wants to. But, I mean, Silver running through the nether. Looking to breed Striders, it looks like. Did pick up some blue flowers, so they are so close. Only two breeds away. Purling over. It does see a group of two Striders. Hopefully that gas doesn't cause problems. 
It's a little dangerous. What if the gas shoots and kills the striders? Uh oh. The guest causing problems. <laughs> Slowing him down a little bit. He's not able to breathe the striders. No. Needs more mushrooms because because the hit on the strider took it out of breeding mode. Yeah, this is round two. There is one point for orange. I forgot to put the little layout down here. Um, but it is currently one point for orange, or one game for orange. It's best two out of three. So it looks like silver. Gonna get that breed. We'll keep an eye on that number, but it looks like Curry now looking for that obsidian. Oh, he does have the lapis, though. So Curry did get the lapis. Looks like he is trying to breed now. Or breed, sorry. I did think of Curry, and that's what comes up. Um, actually, no. Not breeding them. Or uh, is breeding them. And is going to be looking for... Oh my god. If Silver just finds two diamonds here. Using an enchanting table goal is very good. And it looks like, yeah, that's what he's going to be doing. Going to look around. Maybe you can find some diamonds, Silver. They are at seven. Maybe going to the surface. I'm not exactly sure what the objective is. Because Silver does have five obsidian. That's enough already. Needs a book for the surface, but doesn't have the diamonds. So, looks like not going to look for the diamonds. Probably just going to use the eyes to try and locate the stronghold to potentially get that um, that silverfish goal. Also has enough to enter the end to brew the person of lingering. And does have a splash potion in the inventory. And an empty bottle. So, all of the ingredients are uh, ready. And looks like... Sorry. Looks like they are going to be breeding the horses. They are going to get the breeding goal. Unfortunate. Curry not getting the breeding goal. First time in his life. Heartbreaking to see. There it is. That's the breeding goal done. Alright, well, Curry is in the depths. Looking for a way to, uh, to find some obsidian, I would assume. Trying to find that obsidian. Has he made a bucket yet with his iron? He has. Probably looking for water now. Looking for a water source to try and make that obsidian. Does it have the materials for a book? Went underground to get obsidian without the materials for a book. And Fyro dies, but it is okay because it was on purpose. Thank goodness, Fyro. Let's refresh your stream. We're a little bit behind. Or sorry, Curry's a little bit behind. There we go. All right, Curry... Looking for what I can only assume to be a water bucket as Fyro enters the fortress. There is a chance that Fyro was able to cut off the other team. Fyro, if, if Fyro just gets one blaze rod, that's enough to find the stronghold. And if this is a different fortress to the one that Silver found, there could be a saddle here. Looks like Silver running around looking for what I can only assume to be diamonds and lapis. I mean, why else would you be looking in a in a cave? And let's see here. Looks like uh, Fyro into fire. And is this... Oh, is that all Fyro's gonna get? Does Fyro even want to waste the time to get, you know, six extra blaze rods for a chance at the Brew Potion of Lingering Goal? I don't know. We'll see here. Okay, it looks like Fyro is deciding to get more blaze rods to get that potion of lingering. It's a little bit risky because Silver is just going to be going for the... Oh, no. Silver found the glow squid. It is 12 to 9. They need a single point to win. It's going to be difficult because, I mean, at this point, you know, with Orange only needing one point, if they don't get the Silverfish goal, they can just cut off 
uh, like Fyro now needs all of those Blaze Rods. Because Silver is going to the end and has all of the ingredients for Potion of Lingering. And the only way that they can stop them is to do the same and get there first. Unfortunate thing is, Fyro only has 11 Obsidian. But Silver only has 5 as well. I'm not sure what the distance is, but Fyro, or, but Silver did just measure the distance of the Stronghold, so... If Fyro has a better Stronghold distance, there's a chance, and Fyro is leaving on 6 rods, it looks like... This... This is gonna be close. Looks like Curryway did mine some Obsidian. Oh no. Curryway... Oh, that was a big choke from Curryway. I was watching in my peripheral view. Curryway went into the nether and started mining the portal in the nether. And to get out of the nether, he had to place the obsidian back down to rebuild it. And so he has to mine four obsidian again because he didn't have the book. That was a, a pretty big choke from uh, Curry. I think he was going for glow ink on the crimson sign though, which he was just barely cut off by. That was tragic for blue, for blue team here, but it's not over. Because Fyro is cooking. He's checking the distance. We don't know how far it is. If Fyro is closer to the stronghold, it could be a chance. And I just checked the coordinates on Silver. Silver is 5,000 blocks out. I don't even think that second ring. I think Silver might have like 1,000 blocks to go before he's in the fort. I'm not sure. That means... Mm. We'll see here. Fyro. I'm not sure of the distance. But Fyro could be close. Fyro out of food though. Oh no. Just walk into the pigs. This is going to be very difficult for this team to win. But they could absolutely win it. But oh my god. Is there a saddle here? Is there a saddle here for Rip FC? No saddle in the Desert Temple. That would have completely ended it right there. Because all a Rip FC would need is a, is a horse, but no saddle. But I mean, there could, there could be another Desert Temple. There could be another one. It's not that hard to find. We'll see. Oh, it looks like Silver turning on Chunk Borders. That means that Silver is most likely pretty damn close to the Stronghold. This could be over in the next 60 seconds. As Fyro is just now going to start moving towards the, uh, yeah, just measuring distance now. There's one eye. It breaks. That's really bad. And Silver is, is starting to dig down. Unless Fyro is like 50 blocks away. It is over for the blue team. They are in the winner's bracket. So they will have a chance to get into the finals tomorrow if they happen to lose this. The tournament isn't over, but I think this match is. Because Silver is going to get to that stronghold, going to get the final point by killing the silverfish. Yeah. We'll see here. Any second now, we'll probably be hearing that jingle and then seeing that silverfish die. Unless just by chance, silver happened to dig down in the wrong spot. But I doubt it. I really doubt it. Uh, silver at negative four. Usually it starts at around like negative 30-ish. That's, uh, that's when you'd expect to see the strong... Oh my god. Almost landing in lava. That would have been bad. No fire resistance in the top right. And there's the gold down. It's over. The match is over. Byro and Curryway will be going into the loser's bracket. We will see them tomorrow. But it's time to set up for the next match. Let's go talk really quick to the winners. See how they feel. Uh, I'm just going to good uh, good to start reset. 
skip. All right. So it looks like it's uh, Dylan Fruitberries, Feinberg Talking Mime next. But uh, while we're doing the setup for the next match, let's have a brief interview with the winners. One moment. Hello? Yeah. Hello. Hello. How are you feeling about that match? Um, it's good. Yeah, I, I feel like we definitely have, like, it wasn't perfect gameplay, but, like, um, yeah. it was up there. I mean, I just got the fast nether enter, and everything was just really clean. The board was, like, kind of clear in that it was, like, there's some cave stuff, there's a lot of, there's a few early game goals, and then everything else is nether and end game. And so I just knew after the initial village fight, we just had to get in the nether. And that's what I rushed down, and then I just got it. And yeah, you yeah. did find that lava pool next to the village, right? I think that's the one you found? It's like, it was like tuner blocks away. Okay, okay. Maybe not the maybe not the one that I intended, but nice. Good stuff. Um, uh, it, was, it was funny to watch, especially with the lodestone goal on the four, first one, and the uh, the jukebox goal on the second, missing the there's the music disc in the in the bastion and then the lodestone in the bastion. Uh, Those were fun to watch. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely a bit overwhelmed with like another shit sometimes. But the lodestone was just like bad. Like I just oh I remember it, but I didn't yeah. even think I didn't even I wasn't even thinking about music disc. But I definitely just should. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, you still won. You won by I mean, yeah. thirteen to nine, solid. Um, yeah. You're making it to the finals tomorrow. Oh yeah, uh, it's got to feel pretty good. You're gonna be you're gonna be facing off against um, the the winners of the losers bracket. If you win one more match, you win everything. That's Crazy. your situation right now. <laughs> Crazy to think about. But anyways, I don't want to oh. hold you up because I think you have a final exam, right, Silver? <laughs> I do. Yes. All right. I'm so glad. So, you got this done quick. <laughs> yeah, that that was the reason why you won the extra motivation exactly, for not missing the final. Exactly. Uh, you yeah. have a good one. I'm gonna set up for the next matches. Thanks for thanks for playing. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. GG's. All right, chat. Let's uh let's get set up for the next match really quick. I'm just gonna change the names out, and uh, we are going to get going here. Let me close this. Let me go into this, and then this. Okay. Just change the streams up a little bit. The next match is... Um... Dylan. And Feinberg. And Fruitberries. So Dylan and Fruitberries. Honestly, chat, this match is going to be crazy. When I started this tournament, I expected these two teams to be in the finals against each other. But this is the loser's bracket. They both lost on their first match. So, whoever loses this match is kicked out of the tournament. And, uh, is, is, um, they're out. It's over for them. Everything for this match for them is on the line. Thanks for the raid, by the way, Curry. So this will be pretty big. This is a uh, going to be a pretty intense set of matches. I'm very excited for them. Uh, this is definitely one that I'm excited for. And we're going to have a really cool uh, match here in a second, it looks like. I'm just going to get the streams all set up here so they can join the worlds and they will be good to go. Uh, I'm going to grab some water really quick after this. And here, all right, looks like they're going to be going live in just a second, and we will be ready to go. Uh, not too much downtime in between these, I'm starting to, I'm starting to get quick with the, uh, the whole business here. Let's just do this, refresh, 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 open this one, good. Now, toggle that one. I just need to change these names out. Twitch, your Minecraft usernames. We got Dylan here. Um, we got Feinberg. I think I can turn this off now. We got Dylan and 
Feinberg. And fruit berries. And talking mime. Now it looks like the next board is ready to go. And chat, if you liked the first seed, you're gonna like the next seed. That's all I can say. Because it's another mansion. <laughs> Feinberg did call it. <laughs> he didn't know. I'm gonna grab some water and then we'll start the next match. Is this not the exact same board? It is also the exact same board, chat. It is a mansion with the exact same board. It is a different mansion though. It is a different mansion, and different goals could be possible. I don't know. We'll see. Just give me a sec. I'm grabbing some water. anyone would notice about the boards chat it's kind of funny <laughs> same board chat they need one second all right I need one second as well uh, is everyone up here looks like everyone is just spawning in uh, I'm gonna teleport uh, TP fruit to me to at P there we go all right, looks like they are going to be starting there on top of the mansion. Excellent. I'm going to go up into the sky so they can't interact with me. I'm going to start the inventory trackers. Uh, I'm just going to hope that they work. I don't know if they are working. We're going to find out, though. Um, all right. Whenever they're ready, we're going to be able to start this match off, chat. I think uh, I think we're all set up. I Oh, Dylan and Fruit, why do you have such weird name lengths, bro? Let's fix that. Eh, eh. Fruit. Eh, eh. Eh, eh. Yeah, everything should be correct here, chat. All right, I'm just going to ask if everyone ready. <clears throat> Why is the F small? Dylan, no. Fruit, PP. Okay, fruit got a PP. Okay, boss. All right. So we're just waiting for them to say they're ready, and then we're going to get this thing going. <clears throat> now, uh... Chat before, I guess we have a, a minute to talk about this before it starts. Um, players, if you are listening in on this, please, uh, for the sake of the competition, make sure you close my stream. I will give you 10 seconds. All right, chat. So, there is, it is the exact same board as the last mansion, but the goals that are possible are completely different. Chain armor is possible in this one. Mod spawner is possible in this one. 64 light blue walls possible. 20 arthropods. This one is still possible. This one is not. This one is not. This one is. This one is maybe? I can't remember. <laughs> so there's going to be some, some interest. It's going to be a completely different situation in a different mansion. But the board is the same. It's a different mansion, different seed. Anyways, we're just waiting for them to, uh, for Fruit to come back. Uh, blue team, you good? 
Uh, what do you mean they're not possible? They're not possible to complete in this mansion. Alright, blue team is good. We're just waiting on fruit berries then. And, uh, I mean, if this match goes 2-0, oh, that's it for the day. We only had these two matches. It could have gone up to... The reason why it was it could be short is because I planned up to six. You know, could have been six hours of stream, but we might do a quick three-hour one today. We'll see. Yeah, bottom left is one of the interesting goals that I really like. It is have more levels than the opponent. It is a goal that can be traded back and forth. I'm here now. Okay. Okay. Good luck. Okay, chat. The game is starting. All right, now again, first to 13 points wins. Let's just make sure these are all good. Yes, they are. All right, first to 13 point wins. And I'm going to look at Feinberg's stream first, I think. Um, now, the goals that are going to be immediately completable. Obtain six unique flowers as possible. Chain armor, totally possible. There, I believe, it is an anvil in this one. There's actually two mob spawners in this mansion. There are two spider spawners. Kill 20 arthropods. Still doable. There's also 60... There is 55 light blue wool in one of the rooms of this mansion. And I believe there are two of those rooms. If I remember correctly. So light blue wool is going to be possible. And cobweb is also in the mob spawner room. So if they bring iron into that room, they could get it. Uh, everything else is... Um, I don't think anything else is really possible. Of course, three status effects at once. As long as you kill the um, the summoner person, who I still cannot remember the name of for the life of me, um, uh, it has that. But yeah, we'll see here. All right, the match has started. Feinberg's going down. And it looks like they are going to be trying to kill. They're going to be bullying someone. Dylan. Crafting a crafting table. And it looks like one of them died. Talking Mime was doomed to fall by fruit. Fruit managed to pump, punch Mayim off. We completely missed that. Dylan, Feinberg trying to punch Dylan off. Dylan kills him. Are they going to go for the kill here? Anyways, looks like Mime is trying to make his way in. No, he's trying to get resources. Getting some wood. It looks like Dylan was slain by a Vindicator. Dylan losing his sword. We'll see here. If Dylan is able to kill the Evoker, that is just a goal immediately. But Mime... In here, looking for an evoker, because that evoker does immediately give you three points. And what is going on here? All right, one of them, please. Why is this? Please. Type for type of seed, please. Oh my god, the board is breaking. There we go. Okay. It looks like the, the level goal is being passed back and forth as people die. <laughs> Which is what all those jinglings are. Um, looks like no one has levels now, but it looks like mime... Maybe got the thing? I don't even know what's going on. It looks like Feinberg is mining out the spawner, able to get the spawner, and he gets the levels from the spawner, so he's level four as well. There is so much going on here. This is a completely different seed. Feinberg going up. There could be chain mail, I think, in this chest. I uh, I think this is the whole chest, actually. It might not have chain mail. Ooh, no chain mail. Unfortunate, but there is iron. So he is able to run right back. To this one, to get the cobweb! Gets the cobweb, and that's another goal for blue. But fruit <laughs> does have more levels. This one's gonna be passed around a lot at the start here. Um, this is so busy. Another goal, because Feinberg is gonna be <laughs> killing more mobs, I guess. And he's mining more cobwebs. I think this is for PvP. I think he's grabbing cobwebs for PvP. <laughs> okay. Feinberg eats a spider eye for 20 unique foods. And it looks like... Ooh. Fruit Berries found the anvil room. Managed to die to the anvil. That's another goal for Fruit Berries. And it looks like Dylan walked past a room with flowers. There is a uh, six unique flower goal. So I got to keep an eye on that. Oh, Dylan did find the pumpkin room. Didn't go into it for the seeds. Dylan does get some redstone though, so that that is the piston goal potentially done if you get some uh, if you get one iron. Does have two iron, so we'll be able to make a piston as long as he can get some stone. No idea what that explosion sound was. I'm gonna be honest. We shouldn't have game audio, so that was weird. 
But looks like Feinberg gonna be spawning around. Now, the other goal that's possible, there are two mob spawners with spiders in this house. So, you could just hang out in that mob spawner room with the spider and do it. But it looks like some combat here. Feinberg chasing Fruit. Fruit doesn't have any tools because Fruit just died to that anvil. Looks like Feinberg just gonna intimidate him. I mean, Feinberg's low on HP already. Oh, there we go. Looks like, uh, looks like Dylan able to make that piston. He did find that redstone already. It is three to four. The score is still very close. Feinberg just barely not able to stop him. Dylan finding some diamond armor in the... I didn't even know you could find diamond armor in there. Feinberg puts on the diamond armor though and is ready to go. I, I'm not sure why it's in his inventory and in his hotbar. Or and he's wearing it. I'm not sure. Looks like fruit died to a skeleton. Sad. He already had one? Alright, I guess you'll go to deli special delivery for Mime then. Getting some diamond armor. <laughs> but Mime looking around, trying to find one of those secret rooms. Ooh, dies to a Vindicator. Heart and it looks like Dylan also want to have a heart. But he has five flowers. If he just gets one. D uh, Dylan also walking past the light blue room. And there's the sixth flower for Dylan. The score is four to four. Oh, there was still the bug with the blue swamp flower. Damn it. <laughs> I'm glad they, they didn't punish them too much. There's a bug with a blue swamp flower or it wasn't counted. I'm glad they figured that out. Anyways, they got the goal regardless. It looks like Fruit does have an extra bed now. So Fruit is able to respawn wherever he wants. There is another goal that can still be done. There are two goals that can be done within this. This, are there three? Light blue wool is a goal. Obtain every seed is also a goal that could be completed. 20 arthropods is also a goal that can be completed. But it looks like one of them might be doing jump boost. If they can just find a corn flower, they have the mushrooms for it. They can do the jump boost soon after as long as they're able to find it. Looks like that's what might... I think that's what Feinberg is doing. Going and looking for maybe a blue corn flower. Looks like he's found some iron here. Is that a goal immediately? Not really. Kill a silverfish, kill 20 arthropods. Hmm. Does find 12 iron. Again, doesn't really help at all immediately. But it looks like um, the only person left in the mansion is Mime. If Mime finds the blight blue wool room, this could be big for them. Mime does find a secret room. Not, it's actually not a secret room. I'm pretty sure this is the one that Feinberg found. Find some diamond armor. I think that should be chain armor. I'm, I think they might have changed the tables in 119.4. No, I generated this in 119.4. I'm just thinking, I'm like, why is there no chain armor? I think they're just getting bad luck. I mean, good luck by finding the diamond chest plates. Yeah, it's always diamond. They changed it? Well, I guess there's no chain armor in here. Yeah, the, the chest loot. It looks like... Mime is starting to get some wool for a bed. That's, okay, a that's an uncomfortable bed. It's probably gonna go die, and I really, really hope, just for the sake of, you know, my intentions with this seed. Mime, trying to die to a skeleton. Make sure to grab the bed. Or not. Uh, I really hope for the sake of the seed, Mime is able to find that light blue, blue wool room, because Mime is the only one left. But look at this. Wait, Dylan finds another enter. Not gonna enter immediately. Is that an enchanted golden apple in the hot bar? I think it might be. That's gonna be really good for combat. Also, it is a unique food, which is a goal. But it looks like fruit here does find the corn flower, is able to get jump boost. Is in the plains biome. And uh, we got everyone spreading their wings. Killing some uh, arthropods. That does count. Bees count. Basically, any bug in this game counts as an arthropod. Don't know why, even though they're technically not. And oh my god, Mime finds the pumpkin room, finds the melon room, and dies. But that's okay, you had a bed, Mime. Mime now has almost all of the seeds. If you're just able to find beetroot seeds in one of the chests, you're set, Mime. So Mime, probably gonna be getting the seed goal as long as he can find his stuff. Does he know where he died? I don't know. Because getting those seeds, pretty important. It's arthropod, not arachnid. Oh, true. Yeah, not arachnid. It's arthropod. I'm stupid. <clears throat> I 
But yeah, I think he might have had B or Z. Oh, he looks like looks like he's going for the last seed. Yeah, yeah. Mime getting that last seed from the exterior before he goes back in to get the final seeds once he collects his things. He only has four minutes now to find his stuff. It's very easy to get lost in this. So he's probably going to be making an action and sprinting back in there, I hope. Because, Mime, you got four minutes, buddy. You got to get to your stuff fast. Do you know where you died? Let's find out. And it looks like Mime walked past one, walked past the light blue room. There's Mime stuff. Does he die? He dies again! Not, he didn't make the melon or pumpkin seeds. He picked it up, but he wasn't able to get the seeds yet. So he's just going to have to go back in. All right, well, we know the seed goal is going to happen. We're gonna, I'm going to keep an eye on him to see if he notices the light blue room. Because there is a room with... There are two rooms with fi 55 light blue, blue wool. So that is something that could be done here. Looks like Feinberg finds some gold. Gets some gold armor on. Not necessarily an objective, but uh, still good to find. And it looks like Feinberg is going to be going into the nether. Probably enraging a zombie piglin. Does have three redstone torches for the redstone comparator. Not sure where you found the redstone from, but he does have it. Probably just swimming in the ocean. So... Gonna go and immediately punch a zombie piglin. Also gonna be mining some quartz. Does have three smooth stone already. He prepped. He's gonna get two goals right here. There's one. And uh, just needs to find that quartz now. He did pass it earlier. Will he see it? He just wants to find some safety quartz maybe. And it looks like, oh my god. Maybe the reason why he's running is because Dylan is directly behind him. And Dylan ate an enchanted golden apple. But he is able to get the redstone comparator first. And Mime gets the seeds. It is now 7 to 5. And I mean, if they get into combat, Dylan just wins. Dylan has the enchanted golden apple. He has resistance. He has absorption. He has fire resistance. There is... He has a shield. There is very little Dylan can do. Or very little Feinberg can do. And I mean, Dylan's not afraid of that lava. He has fire resistance for 5 minutes. And, you know, Feinberg trying to lava him. Feinberg doesn't know he has an apple. So Feinberg trying to lava him. But Feinberg has the cobwebs for combat. That, oh my god, that could be the difference. Oh my god. Feinberg actually using the cobwebs for combat. And look at this. Mime has found the light blue room and is mining all of the light blue. So they will be getting that goal soon. It looks like Feinberg, still good on HP, but just going to the surface. He says, screw this, I'm out. <laughs> Feinberg is just leaving. He's like, I'm not going to interact with you for five more minutes while your golden apple is good. Boats away. <laughs> Uh-oh. Boating, it is now a boat chase. Dylan. Oh, Dylan now at a disadvantage. Dylan doesn't want to jump down. Dylan still has those absorption hearts, though. Dylan. Gonna try and catch up. Oh, Feinberg! The zombie piglins are still mad at him! <laughs> this is getting chased by not only Dylan, but an army of undead. <laughs> Places the cobwebs! Dylan. Moving the cobwebs. Feinberg only has two cobwebs left. Feinberg gonna try and make it through the portal. Does he make it? No, he's not gonna make that. Placing his last... Oh, no, he has one left. He had three. Feinberg still has one. Feinberg actually may win this interaction. Dylan is low. Dylan is on half a heart. Dylan goes down. Even with the enchanted golden apple. Feinberg's cobwebs. Absolutely crush. And now. Mime has 56 light blue wool. Looks like Mime did not find the second light blue wool room. But he needs eight wool. To get that light blue wool objective. And again, chat, everything is on the line. The team that loses this best two out of three is out of the tournament. They are done.
Everything is on the line for them, so they are focused. It looks like they're both at five unique hostile mobs. Orange is at 13, so they're ahead on that goal. I'm not sure if they've been focused on that too much, but Fruit Berries has been eating a lot, it seems. Anyways, let's keep an eye on the nether. What is Feinberg going to be doing here? What... And wait a minute. Dylan. Dylan is in the mansion. Is there... Is Dylan going to find a second light blue wool room? If he does... Or is he going to find the second spawner for killing 12, 20 arthropods? If he, if he just looked back, there was one behind him. Oh, looks like he's not. Looks like he didn't find it. Looks like he's not looking for it. But there are still two goals that can be accomplished in that building. But it looks like uh, Mime literally just needs, and this is an exaggeration, I'm pretty sure he just needs like one or two cornflowers to be able to make enough light blue dye to dye some sheep and shear them. That's all Mime needs to get 64 light blue wool. But it looks like Fruit Berries, the, re the, the, the PvP god of Minecraft, is now entering the nether. And uh, with Golden Apple, so... It would be very difficult if they, uh, if, if Feinberg and Fruit Berries interact. There's a good chance that, that Fruit would take it. Although, Feinberg does have full armor, including a diamond chest plate. Which is a little scary. But actually, wait a minute, Fruit has a bow, is able to get glowing immediately. It must have been something that Feinberg missed because he had all the ingredients for it. And it looks like blue is now at 9 of 15. Orange is at 13 to 20 here. Feinberg has found a bastion though. Now, this is a treasure bastion. There could be diamond tools, which would be a start on the diamond tool goal. And it looks like, wait, fruit has been mining some quartz and has pulled the most levels. And now, I mean, they just swung. There we go. They need to get those levels back. Looks like Feinberg mining the spawner. Gonna be killing some mobs here. Maybe getting some EXP. He does get diamond pants. And is that an enchanted golden apple? That's like a 1% from a, a treasure chest here. Crazy. All right. More diamond armor. Gonna be very difficult to kill in PvP now. But the big thing... Lots of advancements. Looks like Dylan killing some arthropods. Orange is only moments away. Two spiders, it's over. Blue is not even close to that. So, I mean, if Dylan is able to stay alive and kill two little baby spiders. Let's see. Dylan no longer running. But Dylan eating all the foods he can. Looks like he's going for a hunger reset here. Deliberately dying to this creeper. Get that hunger reset. Now. Two spiders. That's all you need. 10 to 15 on the, the mob kills. That could go either way here. Lodestone. Unfortunately, Feinberg did not find the correct bastion for a lodestone. Mime does have the wool now. But yeah, he doesn't have the iron, so he has to kill the sheep. And the goal that was just completed there, Dylan manages to find the last two spiders to get those arthropods. So the score is 8-6. to six. It could swing back to blue, though. It could swing, and they could tie. If, uh, if Feinberg's able to get literally one level. Because Feinberg's at 10, Fruit Berries is at 10, but Fruit Berries made it there first. So he has the point right now. So, I mean, if Feinberg's just able to get one more level, that would swing it. But Mime gets the last light, but Wool is able to bring it 8-7. to seven. This is so even here. There are no baby spiders in Minecraft. Yeah, there are. Cave spiders. Fruit in the nether, though. It looks like Fruit is running in the opposite direction of Feinberg. And it looks like that was a great idea. Because to the right of Fruit here, 
is a Bastion. What can you get in a Bastion for fruit? I don't think fruit really gains anything of value in this Bastion. Why is fruit not entering this Bastion? He's going to breed a Strider. Which Feinberg is also doing! Who's going to make it there first? It looks like Feinberg might make it before him. It's going to be close. Ooh, Feinberg! Falls into the lava, but the diamond armor is keeping him alive, I think. I think that's how that works. I don't know. Anyways, Feinberg is able to get it. It is now tied up. Fruit was literally bridging. Fruit didn't notice. He just kept bridging. All right, now Feinberg. It is now 8-8. Eight to eight. The thing is, Orange is at a disadvantage because they could just take this back. And that now Orange always has to worry about that. Let's see. 15. Neither of them are close to finishing this. Neither of them are close to finishing this either. So let's just keep an eye on what everyone's doing. Let, let, let's look in. Okay. Fruit. Make, or sorry. Talking Mime. Making some tools. Looks like he's, he's just eating foods. It looks like Fruit. Mime. Why do I keep seeing Fruit? Because he's eating food. Um, uh, Mime. Looks like Mime is going to be trying to eat some foods here in the overworld. Looks like Feinberg going back to the Bastion. Probably doing some trades. Just trying to get more resources to maybe move around the nether a little bit more easily. Same thing with Fruit. He is going through, trying to get the resources, getting a couple advancements for it. Going and, uh, just clearing out a different Bastion. This one is housing. So, um... Uh, both of them will be moving on. Now, the one thing to keep a, to keep a lookout for, will either of them get a Silk Touch tool from one of these Bastions? Because Obtain Mushroom Sam does require Silk Touch. Also, gotta keep an eye on, uh, on, uh, Rune Portals in the Overworld. Which, it looks like Talking Mime just continuing to eat as much as he can, trying to stay ahead on that. And Dylan, also running around... Trying to find, I would assume, food. He's got food on the hotbar. Like a bunch of different foods in his inventory. That's what I assume he's been going for here. Yeah, looking through. It's like, what have I eaten? What have I not? And it uh, looks like Feinberg. Just doing the trades. Uh, the bastion that Fruit Berries is in should be a faster bastion. And it looks like he has more piglins as well. Um, the one thing, will Fruit Berries remember to kill the... Uh, the Piglin Brute and the Piglin, because those are both hostile mobs. Different hostile mobs. It'll be interesting to see if he remembers that. I'm not sure. We can't see exactly which ones they've killed, but the fact that Blue is two ahead makes me think that Feinberg has, and Fruit maybe hasn't. But it looks like they're both trading in the Bastions, and... Here, looks like Dylan taking a look, trying to see what they have missed on the foods. He's cooking, trying to get some Flint for what? I do not know. Maybe, uh, Flint to enter the nether with? Hard to say. Yeah, I mean, the foods are close. Either of them could get it pretty quickly here. Flint and steel? Oh! It's to set himself on fire! So he can eat faster! Because if you take damage... Oh my goodness. He's deliberately damaging himself so he can eat more. I mean, with this strategy, I think that is going to speed this up a lot. They're both at 15 now. And, I mean... Mime is doesn't seem like he's super on it, but that is a goal. It looks like Feinberg was able to get the one level, and like I said, that is why Orange was at a disadvantage because you get that one level and you're good to go. Now they are at 15 foods. I believe Feinberg has an enchanted golden apple in his inventory, which is a unique food that he hasn't eaten yet. And wait a minute, I just looked! Blue's at 14! If Blue- if they're able to kill one unique mob, that's a goal for Blue. Orange is at 17 foods, and Dylan is cooking. He's getting some fish, he's cooking some fish. This is gonna be close. Looks like Mime, trying to figure out what to eat, what to do. They are so close on both. Orange has the lead on food, Blue has the lead on kills. It looks like Feinberg, dealing with a, a brute, had to eat a golden apple. Or had to eat a carrot. That wasn't even unique food, though. Feinberg going, trying to get all his trades sorted out. They are so close. I'm going to watch Dylan here. 
I think he's about to finish eating. There's the dried kelp. That's the last food. Unless, no. Wait. Maybe it wasn't. I'm not sure. Thank you for the raid, by the way. I appreciate it. Welcome. I'm not sure. I didn't get the notification yet, but I really appreciate the raid. Welcome to the tournament. Uh, and it looks like that is 15 mobs for Feinberg, because while I was looking away at the raid, they, uh, they happened to find a fortress? Any goals immediately accessible in the fortress? Not really. They're really, I mean, other than advancements, there's not too much to do in the fortress. You could get a saddle, though. And it looks like, there we go. Orange did eat a mushroom stew and was able to get the unique foods, but it's 8 to 10. And with Blue being in the lead, you know, the other team could take the levels back, but is it really going to happen? I don't know. No silk touch on that, unfortunately. It looks like, I mean, Feinberg just going to get more levels. Getting, um, getting blazes, that's a really fast way to get levels, and he's just going to be ahead, and it looks like just gonna be stuck here. I think, though, Fruit is purling in the direction of Feinberg. Fruit will be hunting down Feinberg. Will Fruit get to him before... I don't know what. I Like, maybe the Silverfish goal is what Feinberg is going for right now, because what is the line that Blue needs to win? They need... Chain Armor, which it looks like they are gonna be able to do with Mime being in the village. They need to be able to maybe ride a carrot. Ride a carrot? Okay, let's not... Ride a pig with a carrot on a stick. Um, hello music? You good? Did my headphones just die? Okay, my headphones died. Ride a carrot? Yeah, chat, okay. Anyways... <laughs> Looks like Mime is getting ready for the uh, the chain armor trade. They're getting really efficient at these trades, so they're kind of cruising. Feinberg hanging out, trying to get some rods for a single silverfish. I genuinely have no idea why he is getting so many rods when all he needs to do is enter the end or enter the stronghold. Like I actually have no idea why he got eight rods. I'm gonna be honest. He's he's maybe he's going for an end city to get a silk touch tool. I, I don't know. Maybe to enter the end for the 35 advancements? That could be a thing. And oh my god, Fruit is here. Fruit is hunting him down. But the thing is, Feinberg has the enchanted golden apple and diamond armor. And it looks like Feinberg knows it. Feinberg knows that Fruit is after him. Because Feinberg is running. But Fruit has a lot of pearls. This is going to be interesting. You can see on Fruit's screen, Feinberg building up the Bastion. Feinberg is going to be in this Bastion trying to escape. What is Feinberg going to do? Feinberg getting three stone for a brewing stand. Am I missing something? For the advancements. How close are they? 28. And he eats the enchanted golden apple. And now, Feinberg has the enchanted golden apple. Where, you know, Dylan killed a man with an enchanted golden apple. Killed Dylan. It is not over. Feinberg, gonna try and put Fruit at a disadvantageous position. We're gonna see how it goes. It looks like Fruit's low. He's not blocking this with his shield. Oh my god, it's because his bow is piercing. Feinberg's crossbow is piercing and Fruit could do nothing to block it. There is just nothing Fruit could do there. That is huge. Not only is that huge because they took out Fruit, but Fruit had the levels. Now the next closest is Dylan at five. Yeah, he just managed to find a piercing crossbow in the Bastion. Just happened to find one. Massive.
And yeah, burns all the stuff so we can't get it back. And I mean, Mime is going to be getting this uh, this chain. Just has to mine, uh, I think it's two stacks of... Um, two stacks worth of sticks. Of two stacks of logs. Uh, to get that enough emeralds for the chain armor. He's got everything else. He's got the, uh, the fletching table. Looks like the chain armor is going to happen any second now. While, um, I mean, Feinberg just has an incredible amount of resources at his disposal. It is going to be very, very difficult now for Orange to catch back up. Feinberg burning everything so they cannot trade any extra gold. And, I mean, what's left for Feinberg to do but leave? Now, one thing that's important. Feinberg has 39 iron in his inventory. Once he gets to the stronghold, he could find the library if there's a Silk Touch book in there. He could make an anvil. Combine it with one of his tools to obtain the mushroom stem. He didn't keep a mushroom. But that is an option. <clears throat> and he has an insane amount of obsidian too. So this is going to be difficult. Talking mime, getting the sticks required. I'm not sure if... Does, I'm sure they know the exact amount of wood to be able to get here. Um... To be able to make those sticks. And I don't I don't know what the orange team can do now. I really do not know. But I mean, Dylan, gonna be entering the nether. You have to stop Feinberg somehow. Looks like Dylan is going to try. It's gonna be very challenging. Especially when Feinberg is not going back into the nether anyways. Yeah. And look at this. Uh, Mime, already with enough emeralds. To get the chain armor, looks like. Maybe he needs one more stick? Is he one stick short? Or one emerald short, I think. Yeah, I think he... Oh, no, and it's starting to get nighttime. That's not great. Yeah, 27. That's the exact amount you need. If he can just find... His toolsmith. Or armorsmith now. Where is the armorsmith, Mime? Where is it? You gotta find it. There's the armor smith. No, that's the weapon smith. Uh-oh. Where is it, Mime? Where's the armor smith? There it is. Okay. And it's one, two, three. One, two. One, two, three. One, two. And then there's chain. And that is the optimal trades. Because you get a discount if you trade in that specific order. And he's got the chain armor. It is now 11 to 8 for blue. Looks like Mime planting things for the advancement. They have 30. If kills the silverfish and gets a couple more advancements, I think this is over, chat. Did Feinberg bring an empty bottle? Feinberg does have an empty bottle for the uh, the breath advancement. Looks like Mime is breeding. Um, unfortunately, that goal is already done because Feinberg had already bred the Striders. <clears throat> Looks like talking Mime going to be blocking some arrows, maybe shooting straight up into the sky. Oh, blocking. Not today. Thank you. That's another advancement. Feinberg digging down. This could be it. Silverfish and... 35 advancements would be enough. They're at 32. Do you get three advancements from entering the end? I don't think you get a full three. I think you get two. We'll see here, though. We'll see. Mining diamonds. There's a diamond. One. There is a diamond goal. And wait a minute. He couldn't... Does he have lapis? No. No lapis. Okay. Wait, he gets a saddle. And wait a minute. What was that? Talking mime finished off the advancements. Now, Feinberg, just kill a silverfish. Punch the ground. All Feinberg needs to do is punch his feet and find a silverfish block. I don't think Feinberg realizes how close he is to winning. He, he literally just needs to punch the ground. Feinberg. Just smack a wall. Feinberg, 
refusing to give in. He is winning by entering the end or something. I don't know. What is... <laughs> Feinberg trying to win by 14 points rather than 13. <laughs> there we go. He starts punching the floor and trying to find a silverfish block. There's one. Oh, no, you passed it, I think. I don't think he... Does he realize that the, the way silverfish work in this version are different? They don't instantly pop the moment you punch the bricks. You have to break them fully. It looks like he is looking for the portal room to find the silverfish spawner. Wait a minute! Fruit Berries is in a mountain! He could just stumble upon a silverfish while, fr while Feinberg is looking for the silverfish in the stronghold! Yeah, Fruit Berries is just strip mining in a mountain for silverfish because they do spawn here! But it's over. Feinberg finally finds one! That could have been a huge throw. A huge throw from Feinberg. Whew. Okay. But that is one. One for blue team. And we will be setting up the next match. It'll start up in a minute or two here. Shouldn't take that long. Whew. My goodness here, chat. My goodness. Now, Mime has asked something. What did Mime ask? One second, I'm gonna hop in. Normally never watch Minecraft, but this is exciting? Yeah. Wait. Hello? Congrats on the first win. Uh, did I- someone said, uh, Mime had a question for me. Uh, there could have been. It's generated on click. Yeah. Yeah. I... Alright. Yep. I- I- I got it. One, one thing that I gotta say, it took you so long to find Silverfish. Find uh, Fruit Fairies was strip mining in a mountain. He almost got you. Anyways. <laughs> I gotta dip. I gotta set up the next match, chat. I know you couldn't hear. I know you couldn't hear, chat. I just had to say. Uh, the next seed is which one? Is it a really fun one? It should be a really fun one. Yeah, it's a fun one. Okay. Should be a pretty cool one, chat. Alright, but the next match is just starting up. We should be good to go in a second once we see the board update here. Uh... Board is not updated. Alright. But we'll see. If this is a 2-0, oh, this could be a short stream today for the finals. Yeah, they asked if there was chainmail in the mansion. Uh, there should have been. Uh, I believe there were two or three chests with chainmail. Yes, are you gonna fix your headphones? Yeah, they just died randomly. They're fine, though. They're fine now. There's no such thing as a best of two? You didn't watch last week. We did a, a best score of two, where you did two matches and we added the score, to get, score together. You know what? I'll add a little bit of text here. Um, how could I do this? Oh, that's the wrong scene. Oops. Uh, I'm going to quickly add a extra little score thing. Uh, text. Uh, match. I get, you know what? Whatever. I, I, I don't think I can fit it on the layout and make it look good, chat. Everyone, if someone asks, blue team won the first match, it's a best two out of three. Or the first game, it's a best two out of three. Sounds good. If someone asks, just let them know that. There are chests with chainmail in the mansion, yeah, but they just didn't find them. Alright, looks like the board is good. Uh, the board will refresh in a second here. Actually, I'm just going to refresh it now. Refresh. Uh, a little concerning. Or no, the board hasn't refreshed yet. It's starting up. Okay. Who won? Is it best five of seven? 
Uh, I think that was a joke. Anyways, looks like the next match is gonna be starting here in just a second. Let me just make sure all the layouts are good. I think this one has the setup layout on it. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna refresh all their streams really quick. So we're gonna go here. Their stream. We're gonna go refresh. Refresh. Uh, refresh and refresh. And I'm gonna refresh my view chat. Alright, we're gonna look at uh, Dylan to start here. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna hop in and I'm gonna ask if they're ready and we're just gonna get going immediately on the match or game number two. <clears throat> there are a lot of skulls on the board, yep. Yeah. yeah, here we go. The health bar layout is not working. Uh, absorption broke it, so, and uh, at sign, I couldn't get a hold of them. Uh, ready? What's special with this map? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you until it comes up. Can we have a tree spawn? Okay, uh, I'm just gonna teleport everyone into here. Uh, TP at A to at P. All right. Ready? <laughs> yeah, I put everyone in the exact same square. Okay, I'm just gonna wait till everyone's ready. I'll fix the inventory tracker. Just give me a sec. All right, inventory should be cleared. Yep. Orange. Uh, okay, we're gonna start then. Start game. All right, chat, so. This board, let's take a look at it immediately. What's gonna happen right away? It looks like there is an opponent dies goal, so they're probably gonna do some PvP right at the start. Uh, die by Anvil, die by Firework Rocket. You can't really do those goals until the other opponent dies, so you're gonna be focusing on killing goals. Some e early game goals. There's not a lot of really early game ones. Maybe Breed Cow. Wear a Carved Pumpkin for five minutes is one of the objectives. I think finding a village in this seed would be pretty valuable, because taming a cat you can do there. You'd be able to breed a cow more easily. You might find a cauldron. Um, That'll be good, but really, there's not a ton of early game objectives here. Uh, maybe kill a green sheep if you can find cactus. So yeah, 15. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens here, but also, zombie villager. It seems like a, a village is probably the best way to go here. Brew a potion of water breathing is going to be really interesting because you don't technically need to brew it for this goal. If you find a potion of water breathing, put it in a brewing stand and then taking out, take it out. That does count. So... Um, we'll see what happens there. There is a deal 400 damage goal as well. It'll be interesting to see how they handle that. But the match has started, and we're gonna watch Fruit Berries because he is the best at PvP. It looks like he might just be running away, though. It looks like Fruit Berries might just be sprinting away so they do not kill him. Um, Dylan and, and Mime actually are side by- or, Looks like Mime is actually chasing Fruit Berries. Maybe by accident, maybe on purpose, I'm not exactly sure. Looks like they both ran out to the savannah. Now, the one thing that I do know is there is a desert next to the savannah that you can get the cactus from to kill the sheep. So that'll be interesting. There are, on Dylan's screen, some pumpkins. So if you get some iron, you can start wearing that. The thing is, you have to wear it for the full five minutes. So if someone kills you and takes that pumpkin, I, I can't remember if it gets reset or not. I'm going to be honest. Looks like uh, Feinberg is killing some fish, is going to be starting on that eat 10 unique foods goal. We'll see here. Is there a place of odds in the previous matches? I'm super intrigued by the format right now. Uh, last weekend, last Saturday and Sunday were a bunch of matches. Um, looks like uh, Feinberg killing some sheep, maybe trying to get a bed just in case. I'm not exactly sure, but it looks like, oh, looks like Dylan has found, has found a desert. Which will be able to get some green, uh, green dye out of for the green sheep, but, you know, are they being hunted down? I'm not exactly sure yet. It's gonna be difficult, because, like, you don't want to do the die by anvil goal unless the opponent has died already, or else you're not gaining it. Anything. But anyways, we're still, we're still seeing here. Dylan is now getting some materials. 
it looks like he he also has cows on his screen which is interesting but let's check the the food goal they're both at two i'm not the one thing is that i don't think orange team is focused on food too much fruit probably has but looks like what is dylan doing dylan going down getting materials for a furnace to be able to make that green die that could be an opportunity for the other team to sneak up on him but i don't think that's going to happen it looks like uh, Feinberg also getting resources maybe to cook those foods to get to the, uh, the 10 unique foods. They are in a slight lead only by one. It looks like fruit berries found an ocean. Boating to Dylan maybe. And I think there might be a desert village in this direction which would be massive for the tame a cat, breed a cow, and kill a zombie villager goal. There are two netherite goals on this board. I've just noticed. Obtain every type of pickaxe and obtain a lodestone, so the nether could be pretty slow. There's also red nether brick stairs. Find a bastion. Mine a mob spawner. Um, enter the end. There are a lot, you know, brew potion of water breathing. There are a lot of nether goals here, or beyond nether goals. 15 unique hostile mobs basically requires nether. That, armor stand with armor, easier in the nether. Breeding requires you to go to the nether. There's gonna be a lot of nether goals, but it looks like there is our first goal done. Dylan manages to kill the sheep. We are three minutes in and only one goal is done. A lot of them are slow, but I mean, on his screen, Dylan has a lava pool. Now, I think it's been long enough that I will tell you the the gimmick of this seed. There are only bastions for 1,500 blocks in the nether in every direction. There is not a fortress in the nether for 1,500 blocks. So, they're going to be going from Bastion to Bastion, which is why there are two Netherite goals. I figured that was fair when you're going to be going through so many Bastions. <laughs> why is Enter End a goal? You're going to have to get a lot of pearls. Surrounded by that is only fortresses, basically. So once you get to that, that direction, you'll just see a fortress. It's basically guaranteed. Did you make these seeds? I picked them out, yes. Uh, 1,500 blocks in the nether, I believe. So, yeah, there's they're, they're gonna see a lot of bastions in this seed. Um, and it looks like, oh my goodness, one of them has tamed a cow and eaten the foods. Talking mime, doing both while we were talking about the, the board and goal itself. Must have taken a ton of time to prep these seeds. Yes. Yes, it will. It did. It took hours and hours and hours to make the, the boards and the seeds all good. Because they're randomly generated boards, but I changed a couple of them to make the matches more interesting. Ch a couple of the goals around. Because I want it to be balanced still. But we'll see. You know, we're five minutes in. It's only one to two. This is a longer board for sure. I, uh, the, you know, there's a lot more nethers. And oh my goodness, wait a minute. Dylan has managed to find a village and did tame a cat right there. And I mean, Dylan. Now that Dylan's tamed a cat, I wouldn't be surprised if they start targeting Dylan down. Because... That zombie villager is going to be critically important. Um, what else can be done in the village, really? Cauldron to wash something? There could be a cauldron in the village. It looks like Dylan trying to get some food, maybe. Good for breeding. Um, Dylan still no iron. Dylan does have that pumpkin. Or at least I thought he did. Maybe is Dylan's inventory not tracking properly? Let me double check. It is not. Uh, let's switch to this, and then switch to that. Maybe Dylan didn't keep the pumpkin? No, Dylan's inventory is not working. That's... Oh, I didn't press the start button on it. I'm stupid. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Wait, Dylan didn't keep the pumpkin! Oh, no! Oh, did he? No, he did keep the pumpkin. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> Dylan kept the pumpkin. He did shear... Wait, did he shear it? Wait, no, he turned it to seeds. Wait. Why does it show his seeds? It looks like there's a bit of a glitch. Those aren't seeds that is an actual pumpkin is in, in his inventory. It looks like that's just a visual bug. My bad. <laughs> okay, there was a goal that was just completed. What was it? I, I completely missed out on that. One, two, three. Oh! It looks like Feinberg has been mass murdering everything, please load quality, to get to that 400 damage. Feinberg, though, also getting full leather armor for an armor stand. He has enough, I think. Not enough sticks, though. That's always an issue. 
bro he absolutely despises book crafting. <laughs> there we go. And that's going to be the armor stand goal down. Four to two. Going to put the full armor on just in case they encounter uh, some combat. As uh, looks like Dylan getting two iron to be able to wear that pumpkin. I mean, and it looks like as long as uh, Dylan does not die and as long as Feinberg and Fruit don't put that on in the next, you know, 20 seconds. There we go. All right. So now uh, <laughs> Dylan going to be playing in uh, in third person mode or in the F1 mode, which gets rid of your HUD for the next five minutes. So that's a little bit of a challenge here. It looks like Feinberg may be looking for a nether enter. I'm not exactly sure what he's going for right now. The nether is very, very valuable on this seed if you can find an enter. Now, Dylan did have one. He ran away from it, though. But we'll see here. Yeah, the one thing that the pumpkin does do is it puts you at a severe disadvantage at PvP because you cannot see anything. <laughs> so we'll see how that affects the game here. But it looks like Feinberg does get some coal. There is no uh, soul torch goal on, but he does he have the iron for the... Doesn't look like he has the iron. Looks like he's just still eating. They do have all of the food goals already, but I think he was just cooking some food up, getting ready to go here. And um, Mime, looking around. I'm not quite sure what they're looking for. I would imagine that most of them are now purely looking for a nether entry. It's going to be night soon, so they will be able to start killing some unique, unique hostile mobs, but... You know, getting to 1015 is going to help a lot by entering the nether, which Dylan goes back to that lava pool that he saw earlier and is in the nether and is now at a massive advantage. The one problem is, though, there is a goal immediately that he can get distracting a piglin with gold. He does have enough for an ingot, so we will be able to distract a piglin. And, I mean, it's just a matter of time. It looks like Feinberg going to be putting on the pumpkin as well as uh, Dylan able to distract that piglin there. Gets one more goal. Three to four. And this team absolutely has to get into the nether now. They do not want to be at... Uh, they they really, really do not want to be losing this. So, Feinberg is wearing a pumpkin for nothing unless Dylan has a huge blunder and dies. Which, I mean, bastions are scary. If uh, one slip up with a piglin brute and it could be over for you. Damn, you underestimated Dylan. Dylan and Fruitberries are the top seed in the tournament. I expected them to win this tournament when it started. I expected um, Feinberg and Mime's team to get second, actually. Uh, but they're in the loser's bracket, and the person gets knocked out here, or loses, gets knocked out. We'll see, though. But, I mean, it looks like the, the score does not reflect the state of the match right now. Because Orange Team is in the nether, they are at a massive advantage, despite what the scores look. Because they can breed things. They can get advancements. They're only two advancements away. If they find a treasure bastion, they can get a mob spawner. If they get a housing bastion, they could start on nether brick stairs. If they get a bridge bastion, they could get a lodestone. <laughs> if they get any bastion, you could get enough iron for the anvil goal. And the bastion goal itself. So this could be good, but... Yeah, currently blue team is 1-0 in the, in the match set. But, uh, so Orange Team really needs to win this, and it's good that they found another enter first, but it looks like... Looks like Feinberg might just be mining to get the iron die to anvil goal. The one problem is, they can't die to the iron anvil yet, because that would give Orange a point. And this is a best of three match. So Orange Team needs to win this to be able to get, get a game three here. Yeah, Feinberg, and it looks like Mime finding a Deep Dark, getting the advancement for the Deep Dark. That might help a little bit here. Looks like they're, they're also starting on the hostile mobs in the cave. Looks like I think Mime is looking for an enter. I wouldn't be surprised if Feinberg is looking for an enter already. I don't know how much time is left on the pumpkin, but Dylan has got to be close. And then Feinberg is going to be looking real silly, but... Wait, Dylan is low on HP. You know... One hoglin comes out of nowhere, smacks into lava. A little scary. Speaking of hoglins. Oh, looks like Dylan's going to be trying to breed them, but... Dylan, you're at six hearts, buddy. This is scary. Uh-oh. You're bullied by the hoglins. Able to breed them, but he's at three hearts. 
Oh, and there's the 15 advancements for Orange. It looks like uh, Fruit manages to finish off the advancements while we weren't looking. And I mean, Dylan, any second now, will be getting the five minutes. And it looks like Feinberg just sitting and waiting. Maybe just getting some resources to enter the nether. Might have just mined for some iron. Looks like Dylan still with this pumpkin on. Difficult to see anything. And there it is. I think that's got to be it. Yep. There is the pumpkin for five minutes. And it looks like someone died to fire. Orange died to firework rocket, which gives blue a point. I think they just forgot about it. Yeah, Fruit deliberately dying to the Firework Rocket and just trading a point. Fruit just forgetting. Now, you know, Mime, with all of this iron that he's been mining, is ready for the anvil almost. Yeah, he's just smelting away. Look at this. That could have been... I mean, I, I would say that is a pretty big mistake there. One thing, the orange still in the nether, and blue is not. Again, huge advantage. Blue needs to enter the nether to win. They literally have to. Well, not li uh, well, technically not, but with at their skill level, they have to. Dumbberries. I mean, it's not necessarily that dumb. You know, it it allows um, it, it guarantees them. Uh, safety in the nether. Now Dylan can die and he doesn't really lose that much. So it does save Dylan a little bit of stress. And, you know, they traded a point. They gave them a point, they get a point. It's not that big of a mistake. It definitely is a mistake, though. But yeah, Mime still mining for iron. If we get, if we see the anvil go, go, go off, we will know that it was Mime. But I mean, let's keep watching Dylan. He is in the nether. He hasn't seen a single structure yet, though. Which is interesting, because I'm going to be honest, this fortress is literally packed to the brim with bastions. He's, it looks like he's scanning, trying to find a bastion. <laughs> trying to find anything. And I mean, once you find one bastion, it's, it's a positive feedback loop. You can use pearls to find another bastion. To, to get more pearls to find another bastion. So, all Dylan needs is a single bastion to kick this thing off. And I mean... If he finds a Bastion, that's a Piglin Brute. And then, you know, they're only one mob away from getting that uh, the 10 Unicasa mobs. Did I say this fortress is packed? Sorry, this nether is packed. Anyway, speaking of, like I said, die by anvil. We knew mine was going for that. It is now tied. Six to six. Despite not being in the nether, blue team is holding it together. And Dylan, still looking for his first Bastion. Dylan only needing one mob. He could kill an Enderman here. And wait. Fruit punched a baby zombie into the water to turn it into a drowned, I think, here. So he can get his last mob. Absolute. This is a play I have literally never seen. But those skeletons shooting him in the water. Scary. Very scary. But yeah, what a strat from Fruit Berries here. I think that was on purpose. Going, he's he's trying to regenerate some health. Maybe not? I'm not sure. He could just wait around in the desert, kill a husk. I don't think they've killed a husk yet. Oh, looks like Dylan here was able to get the Magma Cube for the 10. The thing is, there is still a 15 unique hostile mob goal. That is one more thing to consider. But let's keep an eye on Dylan here. Will he find his first Bastion? I want him to open up his cords. I want to see how far out he is. Because, I don't know. He, he, it seems like he's probably walked a couple hundred blocks. There should be Bastions here. Turns out, to, it turns out structures were turned off when generating this map by accident. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, but Dylan finding an opening here. Does he see a Bastion on his screen? Is there a Bastion? I don't know if there's a Bastion yet. That's brutal. But wait, there's another goal. It looks like Mime, maybe? No. It looks like Feinberg made a cauldron, was able to get the wash. And now it is back to tide again. 
seven to seven. And really, maybe mob spawner in the overworld, zombie villager. Maybe potion of water breathing if you find a buried treasure. That's really all you can do. Now, does fruit have... No, fruit has not found a buried treasure yet. But fruit has a mob spawner. Fruit does manage to find a, a, a mine shaft which has mob spawners in it. Is he able to find a, a mob spawner here? I don't know. We'll see. Some of these some of these mine shafts in this area are not the biggest and quite often do not have the spawners. Might get a little unlucky here while the, could be wasting some time while the other team is able to catch up. We'll see. Is there anything else he's able to do? Not really, no. <clears throat> Who won the last game? Blue did win the last game, so Orange really needs this win. And again, even though they are tied, Orange does have the advantage because they are in the nether. Still, it has been 20 minutes and Dylan is the only one that's found the nether so far. But it looks like Feinberg is digging down. Gonna be looking for that lava pool in the underground. Fruitberry is still looking for a mob spawner. Desperately wants one. Just gonna be looking through all of these mine shafts. Well, I mean, Dylan getting so unlucky. The only way Dylan has not found one yet is that he has weaved in between bastions several times. <laughs> With the skill of these runners, but it looks like, is that the first bastion on our screen? I think that is the first bastion. And Fruit finding the mob spawner at last, getting eight. And I mean, if that is a bastion on Dylan's screen here, which I think it might be, I think it might be, is that a bridge bastion? I can't tell. What type of bastion is it? No. Oh, I think that's a housing. I think this is a housing bastion, which does immediately give them a goal. But housing also has nether wart in it, which allows you to get red nether brick stairs. Will Dylan make that connection? Dylan does have a stone cutter in his inventory. So he does only need two nether wart and two nether bricks to make one red nether brick. And then he can cut it. But there you go. That is the Bastion for Dylan, 9 to 7, while Feinberg still just trying to get into the nether. It looks like he has found a lava pool, so we will be entering any second now. Is it enough, though? And also, will Dylan think about the red nether brick stairs? Because this is something that you don't generally think of. The nether wart in the housing Bastion, that is something that speedrunners never consider. So will Dylan think about it? Or will fruit berries remind him? We'll see. But it looks like Feinberg entering the nether. Enters the nether, looks around. Does he see a bastion? He's probably... I would expect him to go in the opposite direction of Dylan at this point. Because Dylan took forever to find a bastion here. But it looks like he might be going in the same direction. We'll see. Nope. It's actually Feinberg not tracking anyone at the moment. His compass spinning wildly, I think. Yep. As wait... Did Dylan die? Dylan dying in the Bastion. That could be the mistake that Blue needed to catch right back up. What happened? I have no idea what happened to Dylan. I assume it must have been a Piglin Brute. That is absolutely terrible for orange and oh my god it looks like feinberg already has the bastion feinberg looked at the direction of dylan and the moment dylan died he beelined it to the bastion and the one thing that dylan didn't get is the nether wart now dylan had the stone cutter and he has the nether wart still sitting in the bastion, so... Feinberg could get a very easy and quick goal here. Going in the back of the bastion, where did Dylan die? I don't know. Feinberg could clutch this up for this team. I mean, that was a massive mistake for Dylan. I mean, Dylan, look at, look at what he's doing in his inventory. He's nervous. He's moving his stuff around. That seems like a frustrated shuffle. As, as Feinberg, digging out the Bastion. 
I'm, I assume, I think this is where Dylan died, right here. So, Dylan died right around this area. If he's able to get Dylan's stuff, Dylan... Feinberg looks directly at the nether wart, does not go to grab it. Maybe going for some uh, some gold first. <laughs> Feinberg, zero piglins on him. This, it looks like this bastion is just filled with brutes maybe. Not exactly sure. There's a brute on Feinberg. Takes a direct hit. Look at this. Dylan, ready for another entry. He just needs the... Oh, no. Wait. Dylan managed to get back to his old portal. His old portal was very close as well. Dylan's old portal was very close to that bastion. And he can just go directly towards Feinberg. Which is exactly what he's going to do. Dylan needs to take Feinberg in this fight. Looks like Feinberg trying to trade with these piglins. They are being very uncooperative. And again, the thing that Feinberg has not done is gone and grabbed that nether wart. Which again, it's just, it's a free goal that red nether brick stairs. It's a goal that could happen. Orange still has a lead on kills for unique mobs, which is big. And you know, at any time, there is a goal that Fruit could do in the overworld. If he happens to find a buried treasure, with a potion of water breathing, and then a village with a brewing stand, that could be another goal. And the village has the zombie villager. And Dylan was in a village, so they could have done that goal. I think they just didn't think of it. But we're going to be seeing here. Fruit does that. Dylan maybe trying to make his way back. Dylan, I think, maybe killing this ghast for the 15 mobs. They only need two more. And it looks like how much iron is in here? Two blocks. Oh wait, they already did the iron goal. Never mind. But I mean, iron armor. It's gonna be nice. Looks like that's what uh, that's what Feinberg's going for. It's gonna be very, very difficult. But wait, Dylan locates a bridge bastion that has a lodestone. It's not over. It is not over. Dylan just needs to not die. All Dylan needs to do is get that lodestone. It's so dangerous. Dylan has zero food. And it looks like Feinberg walking around the bastion. He does have two ancient debris. Which is halfway there to the every type of pickaxe. He does need one more diamond for it though. Did he get another piercing crossbow? There's no way. Oh my god, wait. What is Feinberg doing? And it looks like, there we go. Dylan does get, after all, does get that lodestone. 10 to 7. It is not over yet. As Feinberg running through, Feinberg needs to think of that red nether brick stair play. He has to think of it. Because, like, the 10 to 7. Orange only needs three points to win. Orange can get two in the overworld. They can get Zombie Villager. They can get promotion of Water Breathing. And Orange, only two away. Two rare mobs. One of them is going to be the Zombie Villager, potentially, if they find it. And wait a minute. Look at this. Fruit has the potion of Water Breathing, but he doesn't grab it. Unless he does. Did he grab it? I see a water bottle in his inventory. Maybe he only grabbed one of them. He might have it, actually. He might have the potion of water breathing. I think he has it. I think he still has it. He does have one. Okay. He has one potion of water breathing, which means all he needs... All he needs... And it looks like he's going for the breeding goal as well. They are so far behind on that. Good luck. Looks like Dylan was able to get... Um, He, he was able to get an iron pickaxe, so he's able to trade this bastion... Both of them have the Bastion. And... No! Feinberg did not think of the red nether brick stairs. 
a huge misplay from Feinberg. Not thinking of it. If he's able to find another housing bastion, it might click. But that is a big mistake for Feinberg. Maybe he's just doing something other else first, but I don't think he would if he had thought of it. Because, you know, maybe, oh, I should go breed striders or something. Maybe. But I don't think so. I really don't think so. And wait a minute. It looks like Mime has also found a map that could lead. And the one thing, even if this is the same map that Fruitberries had, Fruitberries left a water breathing potion in the chest. If this is the same map. So I think both of them are going to be having a water breathing potion. Both Fruit and Mime. Let's see. It looks like it is a different one. So is there water breathing here? No? <laughs> Mime on the wrong chunk. <laughs> water breathing potion. There it is. They just need a brewing stand. But Fruitberries has a village. Is there a brewing stand in this village? Is it a brewing stand village? Look for the large cobblestone building. No. No brewing stand. Uh-oh. And watch Feinberg here. I think Feinberg... Feinberg is at Dylan's Bastion. Does Dylan know? Does Dylan know? Dylan isn't making a shield? He already has a shield? I don't think Dylan knows Feinberg is here. Dylan is not looking around. Oh, Feinberg has a fire resist. They're getting into some combat. Feinberg is low, though. Oh, my God. Feinberg almost goes down. Dylan is low as well, though. But Feinberg is stuck. It's... Oh, my God. Feinberg dies. He plays the aggressive play and gets punished for it. And now Dylan is the one with everything. And the crazy part is... He died to fall damage on Soul Sand, so his stuff is fine. Dylan gets everything, including the food. Oh my god. Now, the one thing, Fruitberries is still able to save this for their team. Uh, what am I saying? Dylan's in the nether, Fruitberries in a village, Fruitberries can kill the zombie villager. Wait, where are you going, Fruit? Hello? Fruitberries looking for a new village with the brewing stand. Or breeding, I guess. <laughs> mm, I, I, it's probably not close to nighttime, right? Yeah, I mean, that's, that is huge. That was a massive... I mean, was the aggressive play necessary from Feinberg? It's arguable. I mean, he had the advantage too, which is crazy. But wait. Wait, there it is. Fruitberries does actually get the Brewing Sand House, and it is turning nighttime. So he will be getting both Potion of Water Breathing and Zombie Villager, and they just need one goal. Which is one unique hostile mob. Here it is. Boom. They get it. And they can make a zombie villager now. I think Orange may be bringing this to a game three. <clears throat> because, I mean, they just need the zombie villager. Now, zombie villagers aren't the easiest to make if you don't know what you're doing. I don't know how much practice Fruitberries has. It looks like a pretty big village, so it shouldn't be that bad. But we'll see here. Looks like... Mm, it's a little little tricky. You're, there you go. Is making a nice path for a zombie. I mean, that seemed pretty good. Just has to find a zombie now. Looks like Feinberg... Re-re-entering the nether. Or no, just re-entering the nether. <laughs> Never mind. I keep mixing up who died. No. Yeah, and I mean, there is just no chance that he can catch Dylan now. Both bastions near spawn have been looted. And I mean, Dylan could breed 
Fruit Berries is going to kill this zombie villager. And they need one more mob. Like, it's... It, it is... It would be the greatest comeback I have ever seen in Lockout if Blue is able to win this. Because Fruit did find that uh, zombie. It looks like... Uh, Gonna try and trap this villager in a boat here. Is able to get it. Gonna probably bait the zombie into coming inside. No! But the, the iron golem kills it. Protection from the iron golem. No. No zombie. Have they killed the spider yet? They have killed the spider already. Okay. Interference! Now, Fruit still did not kill that iron golem. So it could come back for more. Oh, it looks like... Looks like the zombies in the boat gonna be killing the zombie villager now. <laughs> yeah, dealing damage to it. And he will get the conversion. Because I believe it is guaranteed. There it is. Zombie Villager. They're at 14 now. Dylan needs to kill one new thing. If Dylan kills a zombie piglin, they win, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. I... No, no, they've killed a zombie piglin. He has not killed a brute. Dylan has not killed a brute. He is going back to another bastion. <laughs> is this the one Feinberg is at? No, okay, it's not. So, Dylan, now looking. Please give me a brute. And there's a brute, there's a brute. This could be over. This could be over right here. Dylan stream, dying, but finishing the game. It is now 1-1. One, one. Either team could win this. Oh my god. Okay. Now, what is the next? I'm gonna, I, I have to, so I had a, a, a match three prepared for last match or a, a three prepared for this match. What's gonna be more interesting? I think we're gonna do the, the next one in line. Yeah, we're gonna do the next one in the, in the line. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, we are going to a match three, chat. Oh, shit. This is the wrong thing. Hopefully they did not see that. I typed it in the wrong chat. Team four knows what's happening. I'm, I gotta jump into the call. Hello. Did you see what I typed in your chat? No, in your the team chat? Okay, no, it was all of the notes for this seed. I'm glad I didn't see, didn't see it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you didn't see it. That's good. Okay. <clears throat> Just checking. That would have been bad. <clears throat> Honestly, I my notes are so minimal. They're so minimal, chat. It doesn't even matter. But, oh man, this is close. This is close. All right, let's let's uh, let's refresh all their streams. Here, uh, stream. We'll do a, a refresh. And a refresh. And a refresh. And a refresh. Okay. We're setting up the next match. It should be three minutes. That round felt really short. How long was it? It was about 30 minutes. They, uh... I mean, these people are so good. It's, it's very difficult. That felt super quick. It was a quick match for sure, yeah. Oh, looks like the server is not ready yet. I, they're just spamming join server. 
Uh, it was a long board and a long seed, yeah. The, I mean, I think the middle game was interesting. Why is blue pink? You're colorblind, I guess? I don't know. Oh, for the prediction. Oh. <laughs> That makes more sense. Anyways, yeah. When the board gets reset, that's when they can join the server. So the fact that they're trying to join the server already is kind of silly. <clears throat> but this is the last game of the day. This determines who moves on and who gets eliminated from the tournament. The team that loses this next game is out. And gets... Fourth place, I think? So we'll see here. We will see. <laughs> all right, once the board is, is all reset, we should be good to go. It's starting up the server. Is this the last game? This is the final game for today. Yeah, the matches went pretty quick. Practice for LUD tourney over. I don't think I'll be able to practice it on stream. Oh, there we go. Server's going up. And yeah, this is an interesting seed chat. There are a lot of structures, a lot of things in this seed. Um, yes, there are a lot. Uh, I just need to make sure that none of them are unfairly in the ravine here. So let's just double check. Uh, I'm going to teleport fruit. Uh, TP fruit berries to at P. There we go. Good. All right. Uh, ready? I'm just going to check that they're ready. I'm going to make sure that the inventories are all turned on this time. Because I forgot to turn Dylan's on last time. Alright, let's check their inventories. Alright, set up. Let's check this, check this, check this one, this one. Good, alright, we're gonna open up with Feinberg on this one. Alright, chat. Here we go, the final game of the day. We good? Yes. Okay, slash start game. Um, I'm just gonna wait for a second, uh, because they said we good. Mime? Alright, here we go, the final game! The game is starting chat, and we get to go. So, this board, there are two temples right in the start of this. There's also a pillager tower and a village kind of nearby. But there is, an opponent takes fall damage, so... They should be very careful going into the temple, because quite often there is a thing that you can, you know, if you, you fall down into the temple, you take fall damage. So they got to be very careful here. Um, there is a die to falling stalactite. They, the ravine right beside them has stalactites in it, has dripstone. So that is something to also keep in mind. There is also a die to TNT minecart, and there's a die by falling off vines. There are vines on the pillager tower. Something else to consider, blue glazed terracotta. There is a single piece of bl ter blue terracotta. Final game of the day, final game of the day. Yes, this is the final game. Whoever loses this gets knocked out of the tournament. There's a lot of death on this board. Yes, Blue Glaze Terracotta is the center block in a uh, desert temple. So that is something that they have to keep in mind. Other than that, 64 green wool is really the only overworld goal. Maybe eat five unique foods, kill seven unique mobs, right? But anyways, they're starting, they're running. It looks like, looks like um, Feinberg and Dylan are going in the same direction. No, it looks like they're all going in the same direction, actually. They are all running. Now, Dylan is in the lead. I think they're just waiting. Feinberg is waiting to deal damage to Dylan. And someone took fall damage. Who was it? Looks like Feinberg took the fall damage, giving the point to Orange immediately. As they are running towards Dylan. Is able to get into the Pillager Tower first. Getting the resources from it, but they can take fall damage. They can go into the temple now. Dylan tries to get to the chest, but is blocked by the sand generation. That, that allows them to catch up a little bit. Is able to get some iron. Will he think of using the shears on the vines on the pillager tower? I'm not sure. Looks like he may be going for a shield. 
All right. Now, there isn't a goal for Bad Omen or anything, but there is a goal for six potion effects. But he is getting <laughs> attacked by all the pillager towers on the top. This is a little scary. Dylan's almost dead here. And it looks like uh, Mime was slain by Fruit. Fruit managing to get tools. Fruit is low, though. So one tap for Fruit. Could die to the pillagers. Let's see. Do any of them recognize? Oh, oh. Dylan goes down. And now, now Feinberg does have a shield. He's trying to run away from fr Fruit. He kills Fruit, too. Feinberg, the juggernaut. Gets the shield. Doesn't put it in his hotbar. Does get some bread. I am on the wrong screen. And it looks like Mime is in the temple. Will be getting the TNT for the TNT minecart. <clears throat> Mime looting the temple. What do you get? An enchanted golden apple. Two of them. And the the and a spider eye. That is five potion effects. If Mime is able to get one more potion effect. That is a goal. Because Enchanted Golden Apple gives you four, and Spider Eye gives you one. Mime does blow up the center. Probably going for the, the blue terracotta. Does get the blue terracotta. Will be able to smelt it if he can just get... Oh, he can't smelt it yet. Mime not able to smelt it because he doesn't have a, a, a crafting table. Dylan slain by Feinberg. Feinberg killing everybody. Feinberg not getting any of the vines. It looks like he's destroying the vines. He has two iron. He could be collecting the vines. He could just collect it. He could have, he has shears. Oh, he doesn't collect the vines though. Just trying to prevent the other team from getting it. But there we go. It looks like one of them did finally get a goal. Fruit berries eating. Always on those eating goals. It's actually kind of impressive how good he is at th those eating goals. He is always on it. Uh, Dylan, now, I think, tra trying to chase Feinberg again. Feinberg, ready to kill him. Feinberg going down. Looks like someone's already looted this one. And, looks like Talking Mime. I think Talking Mime is smelting. Getting, uh, is going to be smelting the blue terracotta. Getting the green for the green dye. And it looks like when he goes back here, there's the blue glaze terracotta. Goal get. It is now two to one. It is not over yet. But if if Mime is able to get one effect, enchanted golden apple. He eats a regular apple. He eats rotten flesh. Oh my god, he had hunger. If he just got hunger, he could have eaten the enchanted golden apple instead. Oh, man. Wait, he can get it right now. If he just lets his food go down. He has hunger, he has poison, and then he has the four from the enchanted golden apple. You eat it in uh, uh, rotten flesh, then probably the eye, and then the oh, enchanted golden apple. Yeah, he has flesh from the temple. No. Did he just throw out his flesh? He threw out his flesh. Is he going back for it? What is he doing? Maybe Mime gave it to Fine. Fine also has an enchanted golden apple. Wait. Wait, that, but <laughs> no. Mime has the spider eye. Mime could have given Fine the spider eye and they could have this goal already. I mean, it looks like, um, <laughs> it looks like Fruit has found a village which doesn't immediately get them any goals. There are no goals in this village. Like, maybe the iron to get a TNT minecart started. But that's... you Really, that's it. They're not really doing a ton here. Anyways, it looks like, um... Fruit Berries has four potion effects right now. Has the spider eye, the flesh, and the golden apple. Feinberg has five effects... He could have had six if Mime just gave him the spider eye. Brutal. Now, it looks like Mime is going to be dying off of these vines. 
So that is going to be one goal for blue, and they will be tying it up here in a second. <clears throat> Looks like Feinberg has also found another village. And there we go. Mime dies to the vines as Feinberg, I'm assuming, is trying to find one more potion effect. Uh, you really... It's hard to see, but I guess it's just a communication thing. You know, you don't think of it as a potion effect. You know, spider eyes usually useless. You could be eating it for the unique foods, though. Because either team could be getting that. We'll see. Anyways, looks like Feinberg is mining a little bit, getting some stone. Maybe for some basic stone tools, looks like. And look at this. Uh, Dylan manages to find a brewing stand. I don't see any brewing stand goals, but there are 25 advancements if he manages to get a bottle. But this is interesting. The village. What could the village give him? Not really anything. Maybe some more iron or some iron for the TNT minecart goal, perhaps. Uh, doesn't have any TNT, though. Didn't get any TNT here. But looks like Mime is smelting all of the cactus, trying to get the stuff for the green wool. And um, is a pretty diverse board. There's a lot of different things. You know, there is eat a chorus fruit. There is get 25 advancements. There, there's a lot of nether stuff on this board. And it seems like they're all kind of just getting ready, trying to do what they can to enter the... Uh, do, it, do what they can, get as many goals done before they enter the nether. Because it looks like Feinberg's still in the village, going to be running around. Still five potion effects in the inventory. Hurts to see. But, I mean, the other two are not there yet. Unless Fruit happens to find a pufferfish. Which, I mean, Fruit finds a pufferfish. Fruit is still only at five effects. Could be a dolphin from Dolphin's Grace. Dylan manages to get the monster hunter just exploring around trying to find stuff and there's another goal down that I was not paying attention to it looks like Dylan was able to eat uh, drink the milk bucket a goal I did not even see a goal down and that is big it looks like uh, Dylan going for the advancements they're pretty dead even but while Dylan goes for advancements Feinberg is going for faster advancements by entering the nether, but wait a minute. Is there a mine a mob spawner goal? I don't think there is But mime has found a mob spawner Does it help them? I don't know. There's a golden apple for mime Not quite enough grab some bones To grow something I guess I don't know Mime chooses not to eat the golden apple going for a hunger reset Feinberg's in the nether Should be killing some mobs Feinberg really got to be killing mobs here. There we go. So it looks like blue will probably get the goal. They have... Feinberg has two enchanted golden apples here. So the effects that Feinberg could go for. Um, hunger. Never mind. He chucked out the rotten flesh. I guess you could kill a zombie uh, piglin for that. Still. Um, let's see here. Maybe Mime had the rotten flesh or something. I don't know. But yeah, terrible spawn. No one likes a basalt biome. But maybe he's going to go for glowing. Glowing is also an effect. But wait, Dylan is entering the nether now too. And look at these. Look at these advancements. Dylan. Wait, no. That's Feinberg. Punched the zombie piglin. It's mad. Gets the goal. Dylan enters the nether. In just a second. Oh, Dylan doesn't have a light. He's got a wood light. Okay. And wait, that's another goal for blue! Because Feinberg was able to kill some unique mobs! Just as Dylan is about to enter, Feinberg cleaning up. Feinberg still needs four advancements, but if he finds a single structure, that's a lot of advancements you can work with. Looks like Dylan here, just waiting for the portal to woodlight. And is that another goal? Oh my god. Feinberg getting soul sand for the soul lantern goal as well. Clearing. Now, what is Feinberg doing? He makes a boat. What is he going to do here? He's just clearing out goal after goal after goal. As it looks like it looks like fruit berries is actually going to be able to enter the Nether here. At a portal that 
I think is very close to Feinberg. And it, oh my god, Fruit brought an extra bed. So he will be dying right now. To that, getting the intentional game design goal. And the sad part is Feinberg had a bed. Feinberg did already have a bed. But that is Dylan getting the 15 advancements. Cutting off, oh my god, cutting off blue by one. And Feinberg finds a fortress. What goal can be done here? I don't know. I mean, six status effects at once. If you kill a an undead mob and then maybe get glowing somehow. <coughs> also, something else that I don't think Feinberg thought of. Daylight detector. And Dylan did think of it. He has the glass. So Dylan just needs some nether quartz. Probably going to go. <laughs> I mean, if daylight detector is done. Dylan did it. And it looks like Feinberg killing the undead to get to 30 undead mobs. And yeah, there it is. Dylan with the daylight detector, I think. Yeah. Dylan did daylight detector, bringing orange into the lead. But wait, look at this. It looks like... It looks like Fruitberries is trying to do undeads, but I think Feinberg will do it first. He's taken up too much of the mob cap. Are there 10 around him right now? I think there might be. I think Feinberg has got this. It'll be close though. Ooh, there's not quite enough. He's gonna have to find a couple of extra and... This, this could give him an opportunity to catch up. Oh, maybe not. Maybe Feinberg got it here. Yeah, Feinberg did get it. Okay, six to six. It is tied. There is still a get glowing goal, and Feinberg has been killing skeletons to try and get a single arrow. Because he has the bow. He has two bows from skeletons. He just needs the arrow from a skeleton. It looks like he's probably going over to a skeleton now, trying to get a single arrow to get some glowstone to get glowing. Will he get cut off though? It looks like um, Fruitberries does have string. Does have an arrow. Fruitberries could cut him off if he just gets some glowstone. And it looks like that's what he's going for. <coughs> it looks like Feinberg does have an arrow. But, but Fruit may be able to get it first. Feinberg just isn't near. And there, there it is. Yeah, Fruitberries does get it. Boom. Gets glowing. They're in the lead. Cutting off Feinberg. It looks like Mime probably still eating some food. No. F Mime has not been eating. Mime has been wooling it up. He's at 25 green. Not quite enough. But he will probably get that gold. No one else in hell wants to try that. Because they're, they're they're in the nether, right? Um, anyways. Uh, one other goal that is very easy off of spawn. Died to a falling stalactite. The only person that could realistically get that right now, Dylan, if he stumbles upon one, right off of spawn, I swear, right off of spawn, there is a massive dripstone cave. Like, literally five blocks from where they spawned, and no one saw it. Like, it's actually, if they just looked down, they would have seen it. <laughs> it looks like Feinberg running through. What can he do in the nether now, though? There really isn't anything left except for maybe some advancements, which, you know, they're both pretty even on that. You know, blue could get to the 25 before orange, but, you know, with with fruit and fine both in the nether, it's going to be tough. Looks like, let's keep up on the progress. Looks like Mime is at 30 green. He's run out of green dye, though. He has to wait for the sheep to eat the grass to be able to get it. That's going to take a while. He's got to find something else to do in the, during that process. <clears throat> um, I think the only thing that is, is realistic that, that the nether people could do is ride a uh, carrot on a stick and maybe like find a stronghold, eat a coarse fruit. Spyglass, you could get to the end and look at the dragon. <laughs> maybe look at a gas, but it looks like on Feinberg's screen, we do see a bridge bastion that could be two advancements. <laughs> so we'll see here. Uh, the fact that Feinberg found a bastion is big, but you know what's also big? 
the Bastion on Fruitberry screen. Both getting a Bastion. Feinberg did enter first, and the terrain is a little bit better. So Feinberg is in the Bastion. Gonna be looking around. Maybe getting some advancements. You could get Ancient Debris. You could get, um... Uh, what else could you get in a Bastion? I mean, the Bastion itself is an advancement. Uh, killing hostile mobs is already gone. So there's nothing really you can do there. And, uh, it looks like Mime may be looking for some Dripstone. <clears throat> Something that is crazy that still has not happened yet. No one has the six potion effects. But Feinberg could trade, get fire resistance, hunger. Four from the golden apple, but fire resistance is one of the effects you get from the golden apple. So it doesn't actually help. Looks like orange is at 13 foods. Feinberg playing it safe, trying not to die. Not getting hit by any stuff. Um, it looks like, uh... Looks like that is another goal down. What goal was it? I actually can't tell. Dylan... Blew up. Did he die to the TNT mine? He did! Dylan in the overworld, we weren't even paying attention. He dies to a TNT minecart. <coughs> Increasing their lead. <clears throat> My goodness. Looks like Feinberg's gonna be trading this Bastion, and I mean, I think Orange is at an advantage here, as, as crazy as that is. Because they have more foods. They have, they don't have the green wool. But Mime is just gonna be caught up in the green wool for a while. And oh my god. Mime dies and loses everything. Back at spawn. But... The one thing that Mime could see if he just looked down, he would have seen the dripstone. He could have got a free goal if he just looked into the cave that was directly beside his spawn. Oh no. Oh, gamers don't look down, I guess. Unfortunate. But Fruit is now approaching his bastion. And I mean... They gotta clutch up if they want to win this. Blue is ahead on advancements. Orange is ahead on food. What what blue needs is, is something big here. Blue needs to play out of their mind. With, with Talking Mime just randomly dying. Losing all of the green wood goal. But wait! Fruit is on two hearts! One and a half hearts! Is just barely alive. Now, the w I, I just thought Feinberg could get to six potion effects right now. He could get glowing, he could get hunger, and he could eat one of those enchanted golden apples. The crazy thing is, though... Oh, Fruit doesn't have an enchanted golden apple anymore. Dang it. I think he did before. So, it's... You know... It, if Feinberg thinks of it, it could happen. We'll see. He might just be worried about this right now, but those six potion effects, you know, that should be something that is prioritized for sure, because that's a goal that anyone could get at any time. <coughs> we'll see. A spectral arrow? Does he remember when he sees the spectral arrow now? Because he put it in his inventory. Is he going for it? He has Spectral Arrows in his inventory. He doesn't even need Glowstone. He doesn't think... Oh my god, there's a Brute. I don't think he thinks of it. No, he's eating. He has not thought of that at all. And Blue, he's one away. Did he get the Lodestone? I don't know if he got the Country Load, uh, uh, the country load thing. If he gets Country Load, I don't know if he did. I assume he did, but he is only one away from that. He, he, he has two goals that he could do right now. And he, he is going for it. There's one, two, three. He gets the 25, and he gets the six of once in one fell swoop. It is now tied, and it is anyone's game now. 
With that, it is anyone's game still. But my god, is it scary. And he, the other crazy thing. Feinberg did get a saddle from the fortress when we had looked away. Or he got a saddle from something. So Feinberg does have a saddle. If he's able to portal out, there is a pig. Carrot on a stick. Doesn't have the carrot, but he has a saddle. That's the harder thing. Now, orange is ahead, but I don't think either of the orange players are going for food right now. Is that a piercing crossbow again? Oh my god. Let's see. How is Fruit Berries doing? Looks like Fruit is going to do something. Well, that's another goal down. Which one? I completely zoned out. Dylan did do the cake. Dylan has cake. He managed to get an egg from a chicken, I think. Bringing it 9 to 8. And looks like Feinberg trying to clear. And, uh, I mean, I, I assume Feinberg just trying to get enough obsidian to leave. Maybe looking for the stronghold. Just trying to get enough to enter the stronghold, I think. Maybe double portal. While, um, Fruitberry's also trading. Yeah, it has to beat, uh, I mean, Fruit still doesn't have a fortress, so... If, if Feinberg just leaves, he can get to the stronghold first, which gives them an advantage. The food goal is the tricky one, because Orange is at 16. And oh my god, while we were looking away. Talking Mime! Finds his stuff? Wait. Did Talking Mime find his things? And he ab is able to get the pig in the saddle? Tying it back up? Wait. Bloom might have this then. Because Mime is back up to 36. Mime ra managed to recover his stuff. And all of his sheep are still sitting here. And they have all eaten. Well, I mean, Feinberg is able to find the stronghold. Um, he has a, a, a... He will have eyes to make an end crystal. Uh, 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 talking Mime is about to get to 64 green wool. Orange is almost certainly going to get the unique foods, but is it enough? I don't, I don't know. Because, I mean, uh, there's no way that, that um, Fruit Berries can beat Feinberg to the end, or, or to the stronghold at the very least. Yeah, and there's the 20 foods for Orange. We expected that, though. We expected it. And it looks like Fruit maybe not happy with all of his trades. Going for more. And Feinberg, is he going back to the fortress? I think uh, the fact that he has not left yet makes me think he is going back to his fortress and he may be going to enter the nether. Maybe trying to get a spyglass advancement with the dragon if he can find an amethyst geode. That would be a silly way to get it. <laughs> looks like Mime digging around. Making a furnace, prob cooking a little bit more of his green dye. He's at 51 wool, but you can always get faster if you can dye some more sheep. So, I mean, that goal is done. They're going to be tied back up, but Feinberg is at a huge advantage right now with everything that he has. Um, the one thing is no one has the spyglass yet. No one has located the stuff. Looks like Dylan has started on the green goal, which is a huge waste of time for Orange. Because Mime is 13 away, and they do not know. And I don't think Dylan is hunting Mime down. Yeah, wait, let's look at Dylan's compass. Yeah, he's running in the opposite direction. Not even tracking Mime, actually. Here we go, Mime. 52. 53. Bad luck on the shears. 55. Nine left. It's going to waste a lot of Dylan's time here. And it looks like Feinberg is blaze betting. He's going fast here. I think I think Feinberg intends to get the chorus fruit. I think he's going to try and kill the dragon. I, I think that may be his intention. He'll also have some extra eyes for end crystal. And look at this. 58. So close. 59. Five more green wool. And there's another sheep that's eaten. 61. 
Another sheep over there. It's close. And there's the goal. 64 wool. It is 10-10. Oh, no. This is so bad for orange. I know the score is tied, but blue is just such a massive lead in resources. The thing is, Dylan can just straight up die right now, and there's Dripstone 30 blocks away from him. Dripstone, you can punch it out. You can punch out Dripstone. It's easy. If he just thinks of it, it will work. But it looks like, I think Fruitberries, Fruitberries is tracking Feinberg. And Fruitberries has all of the resources from a Bastion, including a Golden Apple. Now, Feinberg does have a spare enchanted Golden Apple. <laughs> so we'll see if, if Fruitberries is able to catch up to Feinberg and then able to kill him. We did see Feinberg kill Dylan with an enchanted Golden Apple earlier. Fruitberries could do the same, get some revenge here. But almost certainly... Almost certainly, Blue has this, unless Fruit is able to catch up here. But wait. We'll see. But it looks like, I think Feinberg has enough rods, and Feinberg will be leaving. Will he be hiding his portal? I think... I think Feinberg might be hiding his nether portal here. No? Maybe not hiding it at all. I think... No, Feinberg's looking for a ghast. But I think Fruitberries is looking for a fight. And Feinberg is purling directly towards Fruit. That is another goal. Mime found the stalactite. Not even the ones off spawn either. Just finds a different one. Fruit literally has to kill Fine. It is the only way. But if Feinberg just leaves the nether right now, there is almost no way that Fruitberries will be able to track him. And it looks like he's leaving. But f f fine, building a portal, Fruit is right there. Oh my god, it gets him by surprise! And he kills him! But is, did it, what, did his stuff burn? No! Fruit gets the eyes! Oh. My. God. Hmm. <clears throat> Fruit has the resources for End Crystal. Oh no. Now there's one. Is there anything? I. Uh, what can Blue do? Uh, I. <laughs> this match is swung back and forth so many times. You have Fruitberries triangulating with so many extra eyes now. Even if Blue gets the Spyglass advancement, they need one more. The only way that blue can win this. The only way that blue can win this is if Fruitberries dies on the dragon. I think that's the only realistic way that I could see blue have, having a chance to win this. Fruit dies somehow. In the end. But they also get the Spyglass advancement. The thing is... Dylan is in the ocean. He is looking for the Amethyst Geode now. 
If Dylan finds an Amethyst Geode, I think it's over. I don't think there's any way Blue can do this. <gasps> Mime found an Amethyst Geode. It's not over. It is not over yet. I want to check one thing. Fruit Berries doesn't have a ton of beds. Or is that three stacks of 24 string? I feel like that's not right. I think that might be a visual bug. Is that three stacks of string? Is that a six? Bro, he keeps opening his inventory for like a fraction of a second. No, there's 34. No, that's not a bug. Never mind. It's just actually real. It's 64, 64, 34. Anyways, Feinberg is in the nether. And Fruit Berries is out of the nether. Feinberg has to find his portal. I think the only way that Feinberg can, can do this... Oh, wait. Looks like Mime has found a jungle. Doesn't even need to enter the nether. Can just find a parrot. It'll be 12 to 11. This match is insane. I don't know if Feinberg knows the coordinates. I don't know. He knows it's in a Basalt Delta. But I don't know if he knows the coordinates. I think he, d he does know the coordinates. Feinberg is making it back to his portal. And Fruit Berries does not run very far. Feinberg is not far enough behind... Feinberg could catch up to Fruit and enter the end while Fruit is killing the dragon. And, 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 and Mime is just looking for a parrot. Yeah, yeah. Feinberg doesn't know the coordinates of the stronghold, but he knows Fruit because he has a compass that always points to him. Oh my god. It is not over. Against all odds, it is not over. There's a parrot. No, that was a cat. Crap. Come on, Mime. Get it. For the sake of the content. Look at that damn parrot already. Come on, Mime. Come on. Oh, that was a chicken. Close enough. <gasps> no, come on. Come on, Mime. Look harder. Where is a parrot? <laughs> he might need to enter the nether. I don't know. Okay. Wait, it fruit re-entered the nether. Why did Fruit re-enter the nether? Oh! There it is! There's the parrot! It is 11 to 12! And it looks like Fruit re-entered the nether to... to nether travel. I think Fruit re-entered to try and get closer. Does Feinberg see the portal? Oh. My. God. <laughs> but Fruit sealed it off with a crying obsidian! <laughs> That's gonna give at what an iron pickaxe, what's that? A minute? That gives fruit at least a minute head start. No! 20 seconds. Cause he's gonna mine the Wait. No. No, Feinberg accidentally made a pickaxe! There an axe instead of a pickaxe! Oh no. Feinberg accidentally made an axe. Oh. And Fruit's making the portal. That was a massive mistake. And yet, there's the stronghold. It is 12 to 12. There is a single goal left on the board, and it requires killing the Ender Dragon. 
Unless fruit happens to have 1,500 blocks. <laughs> Does fruit not have enough wood for a bed? I don't know if fruit has enough wood for beds. Fine, Berg. Mine in a way. <laughs> there is the library for wood, but that's gonna slow down fruit. Also, I cannot understate how lucky that was. Overstate. I cannot overstate how lucky that was. In this version, you usually never get a second portal that is in the stronghold. Water will break the portal. I don't think you know how that works. Because Feinberg is now in the nether. And the thing is, Feinberg didn't know the angle that fruit berries went in the nether, except he does. Because he got the angle in the overworld when he was mining. Oh no, he's doing it now, actually. So he's getting the angle in the overworld on fruit berries. Oh no. Feinberg doesn't have a way out, does he? He does! It's night time! <sighs> it looks like, it looks like Feinberg is gonna try and get to him in the overworld. Fruit finds the portal! And is going to hide a bed, I think. What is Fruit doing? I think Fruit is hiding a bed in case he dies. I really want to know Fruit's cords. Because Feinberg is now boating directly towards Fruit. Respawn point set. Hidden. Fruit? Oh my god, that was loud. Okay. Well, we know Fruit... <laughs> fruit entered. And Feinberg does not know where that is. The only way... The only way Orange can lose this now. Because... Because there's no hole on the surface. There isn't a hole on the surface that Feinberg can check. But wait. Wait, Mime! Mime made it to the stronghold! Oh my god! Mime could save this! Oh. <laughs> Mime would need to kill Fruit! No! Mime doesn't even need to kill Fruit! Mime just needs to get to the portal first. Dylan is also going. Feinberg is in there too! Oh my god, it's gonna be a 2v1 in the end! It's gonna be a 2v1 in the end! Fruit needs to kill this dragon. They're just looking for the. Po <gasps> they're they're looking for the they're looking for the portal. The dragon could be perching any second now. Neither of them have found it. It looks like wait, Feinberg thinks to have found it maybe. No, the dragon is perching. Does he get the dragon? Oh my god! He killed the dragon! But Mime and Feinberg are going in! Ah! No, Feinberg died! You just, just get to the crystal first! Fruit is so close! Fruit is full on hunger! Fruit is full on hunger! He won't be able to eat it immediately, will he? Can you eat it with full hunger? I don't know. Fruit goes through. And that's the win. Oh my god. Feinberg and Talking Mime have been eliminated. Fruit 
Berries and Dylan move on. Oh my god. We are calling them immediately. They just ended immediately, okay. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> the, you have no idea how sick that was to watch. The back and forth. We were yeah. certain you were going to win, then they were going to win, then you were going to win. The, the, they both entered the end the moment you killed the dragon. Yeah, like, I saw that. That was just crazy. Oh, congratulations. You're moving on. Losers finals tomorrow. Hey. Oh, wait, tomorrow? Nice. Oh my god, yeah. It's yeah. Tomorrow, tomorrow are the finals, and, and I mean, you're guaranteed third now. Awesome. Yeah. That match specifically was crazy. That, yeah, was... that was... Oh my god. One thing that I want to say that was really funny, five blocks from your spawn was Dripstone. Oh. <laughs> Nobody oh. looked down. <laughs> that is... Oh. Like, it was visible from surface. Yes, it? yeah. If you just oh, pressed... No. If you just went into... Uh, I might have saw it. Yeah, actually. if you went into third-person mode and just looked down, you would have seen it. <laughs> well, I, I was... I spawned in the cave originally, or, like, next to it. Uh, I, I might have saw it. Yeah, oh, you 100% did. Yeah. I definitely blanked out. I, I don't know. That was an incredible match to watch. Uh, congratulations on the win. And, um... Excited to see you tomorrow. Yeah, it should be fun. There are some fun seeds tomorrow. Fun boards oh, tomorrow. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Oh lord. So I'm excited to see you play um who is it? Uh Fyro and Curryway, I think, is is tomorrow. Oh boy. Yeah. Should be should be good. But uh wait. Oh. Because I think We're they forced to play them? I think. Or wait. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure. They lost. And there's three teams left, oh, so we play them, and then yeah, 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 okay. yeah. You're gonna you're gonna play uh, them, and then you have to beat in a two v three, silver and rip FC twice in a row to be able to win the whole thing. So two v three. What do you mean? Oh yeah. You have to win three matches in a row tomorrow to win the whole thing. Three in a row. Is it because yeah. we're in losers? Losers bracket. You got to get the bracket reset. Yeah, bracket reset. We beat Fyro, then we have to beat Silver and Josh, and then we're even, and then we have to beat them again because Wait, we're losers. Why, why do we have to win three in a row, though? Three, uh... Isn't it a best of five? Two best of, would it be... No, nope. it's uh, best two out of threes. Yeah. It's best two out of three. You have to win mm -hmm. a best two out of three against okay. Fyro and Curryway. Yeah. Then you need to win a best two out of three out of Sil against Silver and Josh. And then that's the bracket oh. reset, so then you need to win yeah. again. Another best two out of three? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> we play so many matches. Small line, small line. Did you, yes. did Feinberg at the outpost, I'm not sure, there was probably a lot going on, but do you know if he mined the vines? He destroyed all of them. He had two iron in his inventory the whole time. <laughs> oh, he didn't uh, oh, oh my. Uh, <laughs> Did mine find the other outpost, I'm guessing? I no, this there was one. not another outpost. He found a jungle. Was it a swamp? Oh, yeah. No, there is one. There's one that... 100, 250, it's oh. pretty close. Yeah, no, he did oh, yeah, not find it. yeah, I guess the jungle, yeah. Makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah I found that a jungle. That was a crazy match. As soon as Feinberg got in the nether, we were like, crap, like, we need to, like, we were looking no. for an answer, but we didn't ever find yeah, one. Right as he enters, so I find long. one. There's just, just so many nether goals that we were still able to, yeah. like, scrape some away from them. There's, there was just so many, like, early ones. Yeah. It's also, <laughs> Feinberg had six potion effects, like, 45 seconds in, and just, or, Mime did, and just didn't notice. It was funny. Mime had uh, poison, hunger, and an enchanted golden apple. Oh my god! For a god. spider eye, wow. rotten flesh, enchanted golden apple, and they and then he gave the enchanted golden apple to Feinberg and nothing else. Oh. <laughs> so uh, they were stuck oh for like god. thirty minutes. Uh, that's how he beat me. I had five effects for so yeah, long. Yeah, I and then, saw that. Yeah, I traded nine gold and I got a fire res, but it was yeah. like it was like twenty seconds after he already got it. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that was, right. that was crazy. So, yeah, I mean, you're starting tomorrow. Um, so, good luck. And uh, uh, are either of you streaming after this? Not at me. all? No? Mm, I think in the end, yeah. All right, all right. Who should I raid then? You you won, you you decide. <laughs> um, I don't know who's live. If Feinberger or Mime are live, 
Check I think, them out, I, I think they might have both insta-quit. Uh, no, no, actually, Feinberg's still alive. Yo, Feinberg, you want the raid? Yeah, let's raid him. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I will... See you guys tomorrow. Bye bye. All right, chat. I will be... Why can I hear myself? Oh, I opened up my own stream. Is Feinberg live? Yep, yeah, we're gonna raid Feinberg. I will see you tomorrow for the finals, the grand finals, starting at 10 a.m., which is uh, 20 hours from now. But, uh, you know, Feinberg, third place. Uh, try not, like, don't, don't be mean to Feinberg. They played a hell of a game. It was maybe the most entertaining game of Lockout I have ever seen, so. I mean, and, I mean, third place. That's crazy. So, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Oh, that was a good match, man. That was sick. That was so cool. <laughs>